watch TV. Don't read magazines. Don't even listen to NPR. Create your own. of mutant-based cartoons for you today. Now, of course, we couldn't get the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 87 version. These guys, these guys, these guys. Because we have been robbed of them again. It's all right, because there may be a tasty little surprise closer at the end that has a green tint to it from a later time. It's Mutant Max, and you may have noticed that my voice is a little icky. It's because I'm having a little bit of a sinus ickiness issue this week. But worry not, because it's Yizzle's fault. What? We are ticking down towards the end of the season. We have but one more action max left. And then we are going to be coming to the closing week of the season. This next season is going to be awesome. It's going to be a lot of new stuff. So. Make sure that you're there for that. And we also have the other stuff that we got going on on our other channels. Friday Night Sucks. Make sure you're there with us every Friday night. Last night we had Friday Night Sucks and Animami. Now, Friday Night Sucks is going to be taking a hiatus for a little while while we streamline things. But when it comes back, it's going to be better than ever. However, Animami will be here to stay until I run out of anime. So make sure that you guys are checking that out. But for right now, we are here for Max. So, Yizzle, what do they need to do with their mutant selves? <sighs> they need to go get themselves a heaping bowl of their favorite part of a balanced breakfast. And stay with us right here from the mutagenic hours of 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as I mentioned before, make sure you're here with, for the closer. I'm just going to give you a little spoiler alert. It's the Ninja Turtles. It's just not the 87 ones. It's the next best ones that we can grab. So be here for that. Right here on the only place for the Mondo, Radical, Tubular, Bodacious, Cowabunga Dude of cartoons from the Saturday morning era. The one and only. This is <gasps> Saturday Morning Cartoon Massa.
out in that dragon's eye. <laughs> Not fit for man or beast. <laughs> dragon's eye in my path. <laughs> I'm not going out in that stuff. <laughs> this is Tiger Shark Octavia, receiving you loud and clear, Balfin. What is your location? I, I haven't a clue, Tiger Shark Octavia, except that it, it'll soon be underwater. Hang in there, Balfin. I'm trying to plot your exact position. Okay, Balfin, I see you. We'll be on our way. Tiger sharks divided. Octavia running a mission of mercy. The others left behind. <laughs> In their fishy forms. Ah! If he ran, can you hear me? Fish person. It's time for some piracy on the high sea. Sharks, keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Bizarrely takes on the sark. We'll fishwhack those tiger sharks she left behind. Just let me at them, T Ray. They'll regret the day they ever learned to swim. All hands on deck. All aboard the Serpentine. So, mate. Watch it, goofball! Cast off the trunnion pins! Avast the mainzel truck! Double charge the cannons and load them with bar shot! Those tiger shark swabs will be fucking with Neptune by eight bells! there somewhere but where there's no sign of him what is it gum you must be able to sense something yes there look 20 points on the starboard bow octavia we've got him oh gus you're the most clever little dog on watero <laughs> he's the only dog on watero you can get aboard. Maybe we can save his boat, too. I doubt it, Octavia. It looks too far gone. But we'll give it a go. Bowman, I'm sending Rock and Angel aboard to see if we can salvage your boat. Hurry, Tiger Sharks! See if you can fix this line somewhere. Quarter, uh, Captain Bizarre, sir. Ark. Ark. I see it, no ark. Begging the captain's pardon, sir. <gasps> Still, nothing. Uh, you're looking on the starboard bow, Captain. I believe Spike said the uh, larboard quarter. <laughs> Like 
You'll be right now, mate. I'll take your word for it, Lorca. Inflate the bags, Dolph. Sure, it'll be a pleasure, boys. What is it, Dolph? I thought I heard an engine. You and your dolphins hearing. Probably just Octavia coming back for us. We're closing in on them. I can almost feel their body heat. Keep a good lookout, Walleye. With your eyes, you should see them first. I see them! There they are! Fire lamp rays! That's right away! Look out, tiger sharks! Hold on for part X-Men. Wolverine's got a tiger twist, stripes and spring out claws. The Iceman comes on his ice board with color change icicles. Sabertooth's equipped with wounds that heal easily. An extra slashing claw and glow-in-the-dark eyes and mouth. Here's Forge with his quick draw gun action. Look out! And Mr. Sinister with his light up chest. These aren't ordinary men, they're X-Men. X-Men figures, each sold separately from Toy Biz. I love the crunchy wheat taste of Kellogg's Mini Wheats, but the frosting side agrees with the little kid in me. The whole grain shredded wheat side to me is quite superior. The light frosting pleases my girlish interior. Kellogg's regular and apple frosted Mini Wheat cereals, part of this nutritious breakfast. For me, the manly side of Mini Wheats is fitting, but the frosting's good too, and I'm not kidding. And now, Super Plays of the Week, starring the craziest sports balls of the world, it's Superman Ball. In football, someone slips a Superman Ball into the game, centers it to the quarterback, who breaks out and fumbles. In other action, look at this catch. In basketball, the Superman Ball really puts on some super moves. And in soccer, everyone gets a kick out of the Superman Ball. New Superman Balls, foul shot, goal feeder, and touchdown terror from Pantoy. You've got a tiger by the tail Hold on, tiger sharks Tiger sharks The first ship with a sail Hold on, tiger sharks Bye. 
last episode of Tiger Sharks, we went to rescue Balfin, a young Watarian in distress. Unknown to us, Captain Bizarre had overheard Balfin's distress call, and while he ambushed us, T-Ray attacked the rest of our unsuspecting team. Lampreys. Slick work, Tiger Sharks. We've still got to fix that thing. Here, help me stuff these into the Mantana's jet intakes. That'll give them something to think about. you think you'll ever have the chance to finish with us? Mm -hmm. Okay, baby, uh, it's us! Boy, finish with you! Uh, yeah. Take them below. Hmm? Find a nice, comfortable spot and clap them in iron! I think I'm going to enjoy this long journey. I am master in the control system. I am a sophisticated integrated system, not the plaything of a mere pirate. A boss there, matey. No one speaks to Captain Bizarre like that. It's no good. These shackles are just too strong. Gup, where did you spring from? Here, boy, here. Let's see how sharp your teeth are. You may not be able to do anything about your friend's irons, but those teeth should be able to chew through these ropes. The call of Tire and the Montana Spike. If he's nailed the rest of those wretched tiger sharks, we're home free. Ahoy, Carlin, calling the Mantana. I have Captain Bizarre on the blower, sir. Go ahead, Captain. We hear you loud and clear. My part of the mission is complete, Kire. I have Octavia, Bronx, Angel, and a Waterian squirt named Balfin. <laughs> All tied up. <laughs> How are you doing, my fishy friend? 
pretty good, Captain. The tiger sharks are caged. And uh, let us rendezvous. And beach the tiger sharks for joy! <laughs> good boy, Gup. Now let's see what we can do for your friends. Enter through the fish tank and we'll plan the next move of our unholy alliance. We're on our way, Captain. <laughs> Balfin, hurry! I just can't open them. There's someone coming. Quick, Balfin, pretend you're still tied up. Any tiger shark on Tania. How does it feel to have lost your command? <laughs> Don't count your chickens, bizarrely. You haven't beaten us yet. Ah! How quaint. <laughs> A Watarian youth is spirit. <laughs> we'll see how that spirit survives in Dragonstone's dungeon. Captain, uh, Captain, our guests appear to be arriving. You know what to do, Tiger Sharks. Let's hope they're all up there, Big Old Tiger. Well, now, that's a chance we'll just have to take, Walro. Let's cut the cackle, mates, and up and at them. Captain, let's see how you like it down under. No! Put me down! No! Spike! Long jump! Do something! Save me! Hey! Give me those back, you lover young swab! Easy, sailor. Unless you want a fish for a boss. <laughs> Think of something. Save us, Captain. Say, I just do as he says. Get out of here. Get out of my sight. Otherwise, I'll be a fillet of flounder for the rest of my life. We'll make sure they leave the ship. We're an intergalactic salvage team, bizarrely, not policemen. You're free to go. Free? To go? How can I go anywhere looking like this? No strife, mate. Ah! Fish him out, Lorca. He looks done in. <laughs> You have made a fool of me. I'll never forgive you for this. You'll regret today, you cross-cutting, bizarrely, tiger sharks. I'll get even with you. I'll never give in. Never give in. No, 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 no. Never give in. No. More tiger sharks. They'll be back after these messages. Now, let's join the Tiger Sharks. We better get you home, Balfin. But I don't want to go home, Tiger Sharks. I want to stay with you. What about your parents? 
they'll be worried about you. I, I only had a father, Redfin, and he was washed away in the storm. He could stay with us, couldn't he, Mago? <laughs> He'd fit in well. He's brave. He's got spirit. He'd make a great tiger shark. I don't know. Uh, we could help him look for his father, Redfin. He might have survived the storm. And besides, your man here needs a new pupil. We're all too smart to listen to his lectures. You cheeky whippersnapper. I've forgotten more than you'll ever learn. <laughs> well, uh, maybe, maybe Dalt's right. But anyway, it would be a change to have someone with a modicum of intelligence aboard. <laughs> 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 it seems to be decided then. Welcome to the Tiger Sharks. And welcome aboard the Sark, young Balvin. Stay tuned, another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way. What a meal, what a meal.
we'll be right back with more Saturday Morning Cartoon Max out after these messages. Got more than enough to genetically alter every kid at the concert. Loaded up. Huh? Oh no. What was that? This warehouse has always been prone to rats. Now keep working. <laughs> Thanks to the support of sponsors like your store bands, not to mention your radically cool customers, the Come as Your Favorite Comic Book Character concert is going to top the charts as the entertainment event of the year. Red teeth, dude. That shark costume is too much. I've been digging on your curly locks myself. You know, I've heard of the shrunken heads and lizard patrol, but what's Melvin Krasnick sound like? I don't have a clue, but anyone with the nerve to go for that retro geekified look has to be good, right? Hey, turn that shark off! You're scaring the kids! Hey! Deal with it, pal! I'm the voice of my generation, Melvin Krasnick! And I'm gonna be heard, no matter what it takes! We have accommodations available. Room 201, first door on the left. I'll take it. By the way, I'm starving. Is there a restaurant here? Perhaps if you're lucky, the last guest will have left a sandwich. And one more thing. Stay away from the third floor. That strange man who checked in last week doesn't want to be disturbed. Great. Yuck. Maybe that weirdo upstairs can spare me some H2O. As long as I don't disturb him. Hello? Hmm. Oh, some kind of a fish freak, no doubt. Hmm. <gasps> Maybe I don't have to starve after all. A little popcorn, a little salt. 
At least I hope it's solved. A little liquid refreshment and... Voila! Instant dinner! Maybe I'd better take the rest to fight off the midnight munchies. I'm exhausted. But tomorrow, I'm gonna be great. A real super... star. Forget years. I've never felt this good. It's about time they fix that thing. Wait a minute. I know I forgot the floss, but this is ridiculous. Help! Help! There's a giant shark in my room! No, it, it can't be. It's impossible. I must still be dreaming. But this is too radical even for me to imagine. Oh no. Yeah, I like it. Sounds great, guys. We're all set with your levels. Pretty fantastic stuff, eh? Not as fantastic as you. Thanks for handling the sound, Benz. I gotta check in with another one of our sponsors, Dr. Paradigm. Why do you want him for a sponsor? Hey, somebody's gotta pay to rent this hall. Just make sure that's all he's paying for. Okay, let's have the next act, please. Oh. Why fool around with wannabes, girls, when you can get a real shark's autograph? You're gonna be seeing real stars in a minute, pretty boy. Oh. Later, I got a sound check to run. Forget Elvis. There's a brand new game. Those special effects, especially that thing with the fin, are really out there, dude. Very fresh. Indeed, they are. I must have words with that young man. Sure thing. Thanks for signing up as a major sponsor. We appreciate it. It's always a pleasure for Paradigm Enterprises to support good, wholesome entertainment and fish in the city's youth. Now, if you will excuse me. Yeah. All right. I've got the levels. You're Melvin Krasnick, right? You're great, man. I'm the artist formerly known as Melvin Krasnick. But from now on, you can call me... Rox. Uh, I tell you, I saw him shark dive with my own eyes. Who is this guy? Let's see what my mystery emailer has to say today. The secret element of Paranoid's plan is popcorn. By the way, check out time is at noon. Huh? Maybe Ripster will know what it means. The popcorn containers and soda cups are all here. Okay, Kilimari. Set the popper in place. Don't tell me what to do. Being created first doesn't make you any smarter. And I suppose you could have figured out how to genetically alter everyone at this concert using popcorn and soda pop. Get your screwy schnoz out of my face, bait for brains. Hey, sucker face. Maybe we should get the concert promoter to take a look at your concession stand. No, we gotta get him away from here any way we can. Back off, Gil boy. It's none of your bubbling business. <laughs> No one called me Sucker Face! It's headbanging time! Oh. What do you say we take this up on the roof, bottom feeder? You got it! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Rox. Might we have a word? Aren't you that Dr. Paradigm dude I've seen on TV? I'm a big fan of yours. What can I do you for? 
No, no. It's what I can do for you, young man. Or should I say, young shark? You got that right. I'm young and I'm strong and people dig my song. Nice legs. Well-developed chest. Excellent teeth. Hair. That wasn't in my formula. Is that what transformed this annoying little polywog into a shark? You know, if you were to put yourself under my supervision, I could make you the biggest rock star in the entire world. Really? I could go for that big time. And the only thing that could possibly stop us would be the jealousy of those malformed street sharks. Especially that Streaks guy who wants to hog all the autographs. I'd love to fix his fin. And his three brothers' fins need fixing just as badly. After that, fame and fortune should be a snap. It's not gonna mess up my hair, is it? Not a single strand. In fact, all you need do is to get the sharks to trust you, so you'll be able to place this homing device in their secret headquarters. So you can bust in and... Fix their fins? Exactly. By the way, where did you get this delicious-looking popcorn? I found it in this creepy old hotel. Hmm. And as for you, never touch me with those clammy suckers again, you clammy sucker! Not this time! Oops! You're one hammer head about one hammer! Stay right there for another action packed lineup of Saturday morning Cartoon Max Out! Paranoid with his liquid laser gun! Ben! Dr. Finn! Reptile shoots his blood-sucking eel! But wait! Slugger slam to the rescue! There no match for the sea shark! Now get this shark posted by mail! With purchase of any shark figure sold separately! Details in store! Can our four heroes stop Dr. Parano and Monster Kilimari? My teacher will do it! Shark attack! Shark attack! Sea shark! Time to fry this squid! They bite! Heroes, Streaks, and Ravenous Raptor battle Kilimari with the help of two new buddies. Meet Moby Lip with his flashing tongue. And Rock, let's rock and roll! The two of the world appear. Both separately. Long Street Sharks. Awesome. The evil Dr. Parano has changed four innocent brothers into... Street Sharks! Join Ripster, Blaze. Jack and Big Slamu, four heroes fighting to stop the evil Dr. Paranoid from taking over the world. They fight, they bite, they kick some serious fin. Now blast into action with the new Shark Cruiser, with monster biting power and fin action traction. Eat your Paranoid! Street Shark figures and Shark Cruiser vehicle, each sold separately. Shark Cruiser, the ultimate biting machine, new from Mattel. Jossum! Three sharks, half man, half shark. Yo, Blaze here! Ah! Ah, Jack! Big slamu to you! New hand sharks! Heroes fighting the evil Dr. Paranoid! You're in my control! Oh yeah! You make them bite! You make them fight! They kick some serious men! Blades! Jab! Big slamu and other figures eat sold separately! Street sharks! Hand sharks! One shark in a dish, Doc. Excellent work, Slash! Rux, a heroic rescue would be the perfect way for you to win the trust of the sharks. Yeah. Hey guys, rumble on the roof. What are you bubbling on about, algae breath? It's your brothers. They're getting their gills kicked by a lobster, a swordfish, and a squid. That sounds like paranoid slimy seaviots. Yeah, it's three to two. What do you say we change the odds? Come on! Shark 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 But you're gonna have to do better than that. No problem. Fish sticks. Oh no, I hope that's not a feeding frenzy! Huh? You're
you're messing with the wrong squid. I beg to differ, squidly old chum. Huh? <laughs> oh! Oh! Put me down, you tuna breath shark. You heard the man, Ripmeister. Loud and clear. <laughs> Jamster, you don't want to miss out on this kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice going, Rox. I had you all wrong. No offense, friend, but I don't remember seeing you in the family album. Just how did you become a shark? Is there some place a little more private we can talk? Whoa! This place is fantastic! It's about time you boys got home. I've got another email I want to... Wait a minute, I is that guy? That's no guy. That's a street shark. Rox is the name. Jamming to the beat is my game. Just to show there's no hard feelings, Benz and I patched this together. But since I'm really a drummer, it seems only right for you to wail with it. Yeah. Baby has bite. What a tasty ear treat. You've got some jawsome chops, Rox. Hey, Streaks. You're one bad dude yourself. Fin check. <laughs> jawsome. As if one fin checker wasn't one too many. So clue us in, Rox. Uh, what's your 411? Yeah. When did Dr. Piranoid Gene slam you? I don't think it was him. But then again, I really don't know how it happened. <gasps> Rox, wait! Huh? Oh, of course. Where are my manners? No, you don't understand. I was waiting for a chance to tell you. I got another email from our mysterious computer online pal. And he's saying that popcorn is the other half of Paranoid's secret gene slamming plan. We gotta analyze this stuff right away. <gasps> Where'd you get it? Uh, nothing worse than a show-off bull shark. Hey, Ripster, how's that testing coming? Stick a fork in it, we're done. And, genetic transformation fans, we've got some real dynamite this time. Anyone eating this popcorn... And washing it down with a glass of the city tap water Piranoids already tampered with... It's gonna be Gene slammed so fast his new fin will spin. Yeah, but what good would a bunch of new sharks do Piranoid if they're free thinkers like rocks and won't obey his commands? There's a mind control chemical in the popcorn, but there's something in this salt stuff which knocks that out. And it's my guess that whoever made the salt planned to graft another compound onto it. A compound that would stop the gene slam transformation completely. Well, that doesn't sound like something Paranoid would do. But someone like Dad would. I called the hotel where Rox got the popcorn, but the desk clerk said that all the guests had checked out. He's long gone. You mean, that guy at the weird hotel was your dad? Don't know, Rox. You saw him? Nah. The room was empty when I, uh, helped myself to the popcorn. Okay, John Meisters, listen up! All you need do is to get the sharks to trust you, so you'll be able to place this homing device in their secret headquarters. What's that? Jawbreaker. Sorry, it was my last one. This container says the popcorn originally came from Mitosis Foods, a division of Paradigm Industries. Wait a minute. They sell lots of popcorn at rock concerts. Where the Seviots were setting up a concession stand. And that's exactly why we're gonna keep this Gene Slam and Treat from ever getting there. Harrison Parkway, here we come. Streaks, how much do you love to drum? To the max, man. Why? I've gotta get back to the concert. Could I talk you into jamming with me? Love to, man, but we gotta stop Dr. P from gene slamming the kids at the concert. No sweat, Streaks. We can take care of the popcorn. Then me and my good bud Streaks can take care of the sounds.
flat tire? This fight! Heads up, guy! <laughs> Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hey! I'll take that as a yes. Two crews coming at ya! What? Oh! or Dr. P will slam us into sea slugs. Good evening, Fishing City. Now give it up for the hardest working fishing show business. I give you rocks. <laughs> yeah. It's the day. It's the hour of four rushes. Show power. It's the year. Yeah, it's the year. Attention, everyone. Until the end of the concert, our popcorn and sodas are free. Who cares what it looks like? Let's get on. Sorry, folks. The health department's closing this counter down. Stinking sharks! You can't do this. Ignore them, folks. Eat up. Those guys on stage may be fake, but these sharks are the real thing. Wanna join us? Nah, Streaks, I gotta follow my star. Or at least go on a world tour. Just keep that good looking fin in line, and you ought to do fine. Jump! Jump! Stay right there for another action packed lineup of Saturday morning cartoon max out. Street sharks, half man, half shark. Yo, Blades here. Not Jeff, 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 Jeff. Big slamu to you. New hand sharks! Heroes fighting the evil Dr. Piranoid! You're in my control. Oh, yeah? You make them bite! You make them fight! They kick some serious fins! Street sharks, hand sharks! Jossum! Street sharks, hand sharks, blades, jab, big slamu, and other figures each sold separately, new from Mattel! Reptile destroying the city! Only from Mattel. Boy, 
Hey, Tony, your balloon's a gas. Quick, pass to the formula. <laughs> the formula makes Kellogg's Frosted Flakes a delicious part of this good breakfast. They're great. Think they learned their lesson, Tony? I'd say they got the point. <laughs> Now, inside specially marked packages of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, you'll find a free diving submarine or free circling rescue boat. You have to put it together and add baking powder. The free rescue boat or submarine. They're great! Don't move, another action-packed lineup from Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way. Today on Mutant League, Bones Justice faces the biggest challenge of his life as he becomes a fugitive from the law. Uh -huh. Will justice rule? Or will Salgor Prig succeed in putting Bones out of his way forever? Stick around and find out on Mutant League! Justice, I have a TV interview with Miss Sherry Steele. Yes, Mr. Justice. We've been expecting you. You're clear. I'll be rooting for you against the derangers. Thanks. No. Thank you. Hi, Sherry Steele. Bones Justice here yet? Yes, ma'am. Get out of here, Justice! Don't ever mess with the monsters again or you're through! for Jackie and call the police so they can arrest Bones Justice. Hey, Sherry. W what's with the ambulance? Somebody hurt? How dare you! You Two-faced mutant freak! You just massacred Jackie LaGrange! But easy, easy. You're making no sense. I can't believe you. You're just the lowest of the low. 
Look, I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't have to take it. I'm out of here. I'm afraid not, Mr. Justice. Get a camera crew over to the prison. Bones Justice just threw Jackie the Grunge in front of a car. What? I thought you were a fake, pretending to be a hero when you're really a thug. I didn't hurt LaGrunge. Save your lies for the judge. Prig, I need time. I'm innocent. That's the truth. Then why are you running, Justice? Attention all units, attention all units. The mutant bones justice is wanted for attempted murder. Approach with caution. I'm on him. But this mutant can move. Don't worry, he's headed for a dead end. I don't believe it. Justice ran right through a reinforced security door. Bones justice is wanted by the police for the attempted murder of Jackie LaGrunge. Finally, he's out of my hair. The cup is safe. I told him he should have signed with me. He'll never play in the Mutant League again. Press conference time, boss. Okay. Monocle in or out? In. Out makes your knobs look too big. Mr. Prigg, will the Mutant League ban Bones Justice? Speaking as commissioner... And by far the most successful mutant ever to hold office. I'm asking Bones to surrender before he hurts someone else. That doesn't answer my question. Ooh, aren't you feisty? No, I will not ban him until he is convicted. He is, however, suspended pending an investigation. Now that Bones Justice has been suspended, how will the monsters cope? MLSN will have an exclusive report at halftime! We put too much pressure on him and he finally cracked! And just when we were getting good, George! No way Bones did it! He wouldn't go out like that! I saw him with my own eyes. What's your proof? I don't need any. Interview over. Get stepping. So how'd you set him up? Set him up? He called me for a meeting. He told me you called him. Check it out. Something's up here. The Jackie LaGrunge report is ready for Zalgor. What happened, Jackie? LaGrunge is in here. He hasn't uttered a word since the accident. He is completely incapacitated. Marvelous. Let's go. Oh, if he recovers, he may be slightly distressed about the car incident. Tell Kang to make sure he's compensated. Bones is out of the next game, and that's all that matters. We'll see about that. Stay right there for another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out. It's Jazz Video Game Review! Okay, last week Harley and I reviewed Ultra Enviro Man. Whack to the curl. It has got to go. <laughs> So today, we're gonna take a look at Battletoads. Rocky! That it is, I mean, they got Psycho Pigs and Turbo Thwacking. And with kick fighting, surfing, babe shaving, how can you go wrong? Your kids are freak for Battletoads and these other games from Trade West. Nintendo Entertainment or Game Boy Systems required. Try and reach down with his mighty head. Come inside the pages ah! of the Ultra Force comic book. Ah! Where Prime and its Ultra Heroes battle on against Enemy and his evil forces. It's Prime time, Enemy. Sire! Sorry, Prime. Evil rules. Get him! Yeah, Prime's getting pounded. Not for long. Cool and Nightmare will nuke you. Oh! Ultra cool! New Ultra Force action figures, each sold separately. New from Galoo. Bad, 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 bad. 
Mad boss. Mad boss. Mad balls. Mad balls. Gross for one. Gross for all. We play with a mad ball. They're gross. Funny. Yucky. Sick. Mad There's ball. eight. So you can take your pick. We throw. Catch. It's uh oh fun. There's so much gross in every one. Gross. Freaky fun is what they're for. Mad so ball. much ugly. So much more. Gross for one. Gross for all. We play with a mad, mad ball. ball. We play with a mad, mad ball. ball. We play with a mad ball. Mad ball. Mad ball. Freaky fun for everyone, sold separately from Amtoy. Mad ball. It's a sellout crowd for today's basketball game between the Monsters and the Derangers. The big question on everyone's mind, how will the Monsters do without Bones Justice? Taco delivery for the Monsters. No one's allowed access until Bones Justice is caught. I'll have to take those. Oh, yeah, right. And I'm sure you'll give me my tip, too. Come on, do I look like Bones? I got a job to do. Bah, I guess it couldn't hurt. Ty Taylor, your new two guard. Serious disguise. Amazing what costume shops are renting these days, isn't it? Razor, who's this? This is, uh, my boy, Ty Taylor. Who's Ty Taylor, darling, and why is he in our locker room? I'm your new two guard. My agent spoke to somebody here. I believe his name was... Yes? George? George! Why didn't you tell me? Just make sure you lay low until we need you. At the end of the first half, it's the Boneless Monsters trailing the Deranger 63 to 58! Now it's time for our special report on the question everyone is asking, where is... To help find an answer, we look at where he came from in today's player profile. Brought to you by Grip Industries. Bones Justice was literally born to play in the Mutant League. At the tender age of 10, he watched his father run wild on the way to what should have been the Monsters' only championship over Salgor Slay City Slayers. By the end of the infamous day, Bones' father had disappeared and young Justice was left to wonder what happened. Ten years later, Bones Justice is the most heralded athlete ever to enter the Mutant League. As an homage to his father, Bones spurns Salgor Briggs' record-breaking offer and signs with the last place monsters, pledging to bring decency and foul play back to the league. Alas, the Justice family dream of a championship for the monsters may never come to pass. We're back in 
the Doom Dome as the monsters try to come back against the Derangers in the second half. Rays, it's killing me not playing. We're only down by five. You can't risk blowing your cover yet. <laughs> Nothing inside in the second half, Scaly. That's it. I'm going in. Still, and nobody gets hurt. Put in a call to the warden. He's about to have a guest forever. <laughs> so, Mr. Justice. I received a call from an influential acquaintance of yours. He insisted you never leave this place alive. Think again! I must say, I don't mind obliging him. Oh! 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 current! Quite impenetrable! They're all over the prison! Where's Steel? Razor Kid, I'm calling security. Not until you tell me what really went down at that garage. I'll do better than that. I'll show you the V-chip. Oh, 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 come on. Even I can't take two solid hours of drumming. Stop it! Fine. Hope this works. I said cut it out! What? I can't hear you. The cyclotron field is blocking your lovely voice. Now can you hear me? Oh yeah. Don't ever mess with the monsters again or you're through. No, you double brother. Play that back. Right there. No, you double brother. You hear that? Double crosser? Don't you get it? My man Bones would never double cross anyone. His word is his bond. Double. Double. That's it! You want a story? Come with me! Hey! Wait up! Sherry Steele for MLSM with a breaking story in the Bones Justice case. I'm holding a synthetic double of Bones Justice, which was rented to another mutant the day before the Jackie LaGrange incident. Rented? Okay! The police are undertaking a full-scale search and expect to find the mutant soon. What's up, boss? Rented? You rented the Bones suit? You're saying maybe I should have stolen it? Maybe. Uh, ah! If that bone suit leads to you, things will get very uncomfortable. Cover your tracks. Sacrifice the mutant who wore the suit. 
I promised you wouldn't get caught. Then you lied, didn't you? Now take care of it. I have to make sure the warden finishes his job. Now that I've taken care of that guard, I just need to get past the warden. Speak of the devil. Make it look like an accident. Hey, you! Hold on there! I'm ordering you! I'll get him! No! Let loose the mutant dogs! <laughs> I've got to break through that wall! Ah! Cyclotron circuit! I hate dogs. Why are you doing this? Some people don't belong here, no matter what Brick says. for coming. A deviant mutant has confessed to disguising himself as Bones Justice and shoving Jackie LaGrange in front of a car. Bones' suspension is immediately lifted. Unfortunately, I've been informed that there was an accident in the jail. Bones Justice is right here. Delightful. Got a credit razor. He's the one who figured it out. How'd you know someone rented a suit? <laughs> we didn't. We took a chance and hoped it was true. If it was, Prig would have to reinstate you. You took a big risk going on the air with that. Thanks. Bottom line is the monsters are back together. And once again, we kick Prig's butt to the curb. I just wish I could have pinned it on him. I know he was behind it. Don't worry, he'll get his. I'm more sure of it every day. MLSN's replay of the day! Even when disguised as Ty Taylor, justice could not be denied! He put on a display that can only be described as awesome! Stealing the ball from a multi-limbed Grim slime is difficult enough, but a play like this, wow! Talk about talent! Razor Kid showed his stuff as he slammed the ball for an ultimate victory! Way to go, monsters! Stay right there for another action-packed lineup of Saturday morning cartoon max out. Yo, Gregory, you on this? Again, Food fighters, figures in combat card need sold separately. Toys do not walk and book. He's the king of the road, the master of sass, Rat Fink. Got an eight ball shifter. Whoa. Got some flames on the door. Just live to pop wheelies with my four by four. Better not watch your singing raisins. Rat Fink and the Rad Rods, each sold separately. Ow! You're driving me wild! Fink, Fink! Catch Lucky! He's got Lucky Charms! They're magic! 
magically delicious chips. I'll make a wrap and float away with my lucky charms. The crunchy oat cereal with marshmallow surprises. Pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green clovers, and blue diamonds. Oh, tasty! Look, where are your lucky charms? Right here, my friends. They're part of this good, nutritious breakfast. Frosted Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. They're magically delicious. Don't move, another action-packed lineup from Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way. It all started one day in Killamoff's Island City penthouse. That's Dr. Killamoff! Sorry, Dr. Killamoff's Island City penthouse. <coughs> Oh, excuse the coughing. The smog around this place always gets to me. Anyway, the doctor was addressing his troops of bad guy radiation rangers. Radiation rangers, today marks a momentous day in smogulan history. The time has come for the long-awaited smogulan invasion. Your mission, to infiltrate the Tromoville toxic dump where the toxic crusaders live and bring them to their knees. Take care of the toxic crusaders and the rest of Tromoville will crumble like month-old smogulan cheesecake. <laughs> While back at the toxic waste dump we call home, we toxic crusaders had gotten wind of the invasion and were trying to tidy up the place before they got here. Don't you just hate it when invaders drop in without calling? Bobby, will you cut that out? <laughs> we finally finished dumping everything out of the dump. And just in time, too. Because I was suddenly having a full-fledged traumaton attack. I've seen enough of these episodes to know that means your body senses some evil presence. That's right, Nozone. But where could it be coming from? Yeah, maybe it's all those Radiation Ranger paratroopers. You're right, Junkyard. Thanks for pointing that out. Hey, I'm Park Pointer. Here they come, and they're in full attack deployment. We're, We're toxic crusaders, crusaders till we die. Die? Well, hold on, that wasn't part of the deal. It's just a temporary battle cry. I'm working on a better one. Well, let's take care of these radiation rangers. What's wrong, man? Got a headache? I saw this guy wear one in a movie. It looked real cool. Oh, right. Bruce Springsteen. I'll handle these bozos. <laughs> There's only a dozen of them. All right, Pop. It's cleanup time. Hey, there's a battle cry we can use for the rest of the series. Those toxic crusaders have done it to me again! So, what else is new? Sarsoster? I didn't recognize your shimmer. What brings you to this miserable oxygen-breathing planet? Your incompetence? You bust your assignment once again. On the other hand, if I'd succeeded in putrefying the environment in the previous episodes, we wouldn't have a series. A giant bug! Hey, don't worry, Doc. We'll take care of it. I know we should have put the screens up. Ow! Hey! What are you doing? Hey, 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 what are
your t- t- Hey! Hey, the hologram, you amoeba brain! And stay out! Sorry about that interruption. I rather enjoyed it. Hey, see if you can give me some of that bug spray for my personal use. I just love the aroma. Kill him off. This is your last chance to poison the environment and make it livable for us smoky lands. It will be done, Zarzolster. Remember, we have exactly one week to vacate the planet Smugula. Otherwise, we lose our last month's deposit. Never fear, almighty one. This time, I have the final pollution solution. The citizens of Fromoville are about to meet the new, improved Dr. Killamoff. Oh, oh, oy vey. Mom, what's that thing? Oh, I rented this early model portable TV so you could see this with your own toxically bulging eyeball. And so, fellow Tromovillians, I've had a complete change of heart. It's Kill Em Off. No, that's Dr. Kill Em Off. Oh, yeah. Ah, I forgot. I have come to realize that smog and pollution are no good and must be eliminated. I've already put my radiation rangers to work building the world's largest redemption center in which all of Tromoville's junk and garbage will be recycled. While giant smog suckers will suck up all the choking smog-filled air and send it back into the environment in the form of pure, life-sustaining oxygen. Why, that double-dealing cockroach promising people things he can't deliver. Is he trying to steal my job as mayor? Next thing you know, he'll be kissing babies. Kiss me, baby. This is a kinder, gentler Dr. Killamoff saying to all of you, read my lips, no more smog. Bobby, stop eating the TV. You don't know where it's been. Well, Sonny, what do you think? Actually, the picture's kind of fuzzy, and I've never been crazy about a round screen. No, no, no. I mean Killamoff's complete flip-flop. He's suddenly become one of the good guys. I wouldn't bet on it, Mom. My traumatons are signaling me that there's something rotten in the state of New Jersey. So that's your brilliant scheme? To clean up Tormavid? Of course not, Zarzoster. This is the real plan. The garbage those Tromoville idiots bring to the recycling plant will actually be converted to noxious poisonous air, which will then be pumped out into the sky. Surrounded by a gigantic airtight dome, it will create the perfect environment for our invading smogulant Goombas. Mm, a most ingenious plan. And I've kept it all secret, even from my associates. That way, the toxic crusader can't pick up any vibrations through his super-sensitive traumatons. But what if Mayor Grody finds out what you're up to and tries to throw a monkey wrench into your plans? Hmm. I wouldn't even consider such a preposterous possibility. Besides, that psycho's line. Oops, sorry. Don't worry, your Zarship. There won't be a monkey wrench in this plan. So, <laughs> Killamorph has decided to become a hero, has he? Uh, now, where is that thing? Ah, at last, I found it. The perfect thing to foul up that traitor's plans. <laughs> Fresh air blowing through Tromaville. Soon it will be known as the cleanest town on the face of the earth. Whoopie doo. What excitement. Ah, be still, my beating heart. You say that isn't enough? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I will personally offer the grand total of not $10, mm. not $20, mm. but a full $48.50 to the person who brings in the most recyclable garbage. Offer prohibitive rare void. Must be a resident of Tromaville's winner. Did you hear that, Bonehead? 38, 50 big ones. So what are we waiting for? Let's start cleaning up the air. Yeah! 
Isn't it wonderful, Toxie? Dr. Kilimoff has actually changed. I don't know, Yvonne. I still got a funny feeling about this. Why so suspicious? You stood right next to Psycho and Bonehead and didn't get a single twitch. Yeah, no zone's right. Even Mayor Grody didn't trigger your traumatons. Well, perhaps we can express it best in a little song. Ready, fellas? Well, now you can change a dollar into 22 nickels. You can change a cucumber into a lot of little pickles. I'll change! change. You then bad guys do it. Change! There ain't nothing to it. Happens all the time. Well, come, come on, on and change, change your mind about change! change. Oh. You're right. Anyone can change. Even kill him off. That's Dr. Kill him off. Remember, he's a good guy now. Uh, I've got a few surprises in store for Kill him off. <laughs> uh, that's Dr. Kill him off. Don't you start in two. Anyway, my surprise is this. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mayor, you're so cute when you're ticked off. <laughs> Now, with that huge cash prize, the people of Tromoville tried to outdo each other gathering junk. Even we Toxic Crusaders got into it. What a genius that Bender is. Just like that, he comes up with inventions to help clean up the Tromoville environment. Like that letter getter gadget he invented that sucks the graffiti right off a fence. It even sucks the printing off a newspaper. That way, you can use the same paper again the next day. The letter getter needed some fine tuning, though. Hey, you! Come back with my newspaper! Uh oh! Gangway, man! Oh. <laughs> Not to be outdone, Nozone worked on his own invention a special magnet that attracts aluminum cans. Uh oh! Trouble at 12 o'clock! <laughs> oh. It looks like Nozone's invention still had a few bugs in it. Don't you be please. There were a few other small problems with his aluminum attractor, too. Hey, what's going on? Ah, ah, and a couple of large problems, too. Who ordered the limo? It sure wasn't me. Look, so it didn't work perfectly. Thanks, Toxie, Mom. I feel like such a failure. Listen, I'm sure you'll find a use for your aluminum attractor. Now it was Major Disaster's turn. He came up with a gadget he called the Noise Pollution Solution. It really worked great. The Noise Pollution Solution had one little drawback, though. Except when to eat. Except when I eat something. Yeah! He couldn't tell ugly noise from beautiful noise. Kind of like Toxie himself. Even Junkyard got into the act by doing public service announcements. Canines of Tromaville, can we talk? You know, it's not just humans who can stop polluting the environment. <laughs> Us, uh, dogs can do our part too. So next time you feel the urge, don't raise your leg, cross it. Meanwhile, inside the brand new recycling plant, those bad guys turned good guys, Psycho and Bonehead, were doing their part, supervising the operation. Move it, you jerks! Lift that bag and throw that smog! I still can't get used to being a good guy. Me neither, Bonehead. Being a bad guy was lots more fun. Yeah, the boss sure turned into a wuss. Next thing you know, he'll change his name from Kill Him Off to Kiss Him Off. I got a feeling there's something real funny going on here. Yeah, I sure hope so. For the sake of the audience. After these messages, we'll be right back. It's Dr. Killamoff, the evil alien who wants to pollute the whole world. He's gonna smogify every tree in Tromaville. But look who's gonna stop him. It's Toxie, the trendy yet hideously deformed leader of the Toxic Crusaders. How does he do it? He's toxic but tasteful. This grime fighter really comes up with the works with his ever faithful mom. They're gross, but they're gonna clean up the world. Toxic Crusaders. Hideously deformed action figures and toxic waste each sold separately from Playmates. 
Dr. Killamoff and his goons are trying to pollute the earth over my green body. His henchman bonehead was up to no good on his smog cycle, loaded with terrible toxic weapons, including noise pollution. Talk about an earache. But he's no match for my toxic-powered crusader skater. One pull and I was after him. Whoa! All his noise started a trash avalanche. Looks like the trash took out the trash. Figures and vehicles each sold separately from Playmates. Toxic Crusaders! They were victims of pollution, they were toxic wasted into super-powered heroes With thrashed out faces Toxic crusaders, toxic crusaders They're gross, but they still get girls There's an evil plot to pollute the earth, and Troma Bill is slated first Who can stop this evil plan? Who is left to save the land? Toxic crusaders, toxic crusaders They're gross, but they still get girls Hideously deformed action figures from Playmates Toxic Crusaders! It's Dr. Killamoff, the evil alien who wants to pollute the whole world. He's going to smogify every tree in Tromaville. But look who's gonna stop him! It's Toxie, the trendy yet hideously deformed leader of the Toxic Crusaders, who with their help really gums up the works. I'm toxic, but I'm tasteful. How does he do it? What does she see in him? Where did he get that tutu? Toxic Crusaders! They're gross! But they still get girls. Hideously deformed action figures from Playmates. Thanks to our new recycling plant, exactly one month later, Tromoville was the cleanest city in the world, just the way Dr. Killamoff promised. The place was so clean and sparkling, even the birds had to wear sunglasses. Being the cleanest city in the world had its drawbacks, though, like take those tour buses, please. Here we are, folks, Tromoville, the cleanest, quietest, smogless, litter-free city on the face of the earth. Oh, Harold, get a picture, isn't it lovely? Luckily, the Toxic Crusaders were on the job as a welcoming committee. Bender used his letter-getter gadget to scoop up souvenirs, which Fender handed out to them. Whoa, chill out, people. There's enough for everyone. Major Disaster checked out their exhaust emission. Okay, you're fine. Blue Nose on an eye put them on the right road back. Toxic Crusaders to well, Lloyd, how does it feel to be the big winner of the $38.50 first prize for bringing in the most junk? I I'm still kind of in shock, Toxie. What do you intend doing with all that money, Lloyd? Well, I, I, I already spent some of it by taking the wife and kids out to dinner to celebrate. We went to pizza by the ton. We interrupt this program to bring you a special announcement from our generous benefactor, Dr. Killamoff. Fellow Tromobilians, how proud you must feel to be living in the most pollution-free city in the world. And now, we must strive to protect our environmental paradise by building an enormous dome that will completely enclose the city so it will remain free of chemical impurities forever. A dome over Tromoville? Far out. And I'm asking my close friends, the Toxic Crusaders, to use their incredible strength to help build it. Did you hear that? He's asking for the Toxic Crusaders. What do you say, Crusaders? Will you do it? You, you bet we'll do it. it! I knew I could con you. I mean, count on you. While we Toxic Crusaders got busy building the dome, Yvonne sang us a special work song she wrote. They do the work, joik, they do the work, joik. They do the work, joik. What's the matter, Your Honor, honey? You seem upset. Hey, Alfred, you bet I'm upset. I've got to figure out some way to sabotage Project Dome. Why don't you relax like me? Watch a little TV. It's real educational. Worried about your false teeth slipping? Well, your worries are over with new improved Chopper Stick. Chopper Stick is guaranteed to cement those babies tight for a full 24 hours. After that, you're on your own. <laughs> That's it. I found the answer. What a 
an ingenious plan. I simply replaced the glue they've been using with this vat filled with chopper stick. <laughs> 24 hours after it's up, the entire dome will come crashing down along with Kilimov's credibility. <laughs> What are you doing? What's that? You say this stuff isn't really blue. It's actually a barrel of chopper stick that Mayor Grody switched it with? Uh-oh, Toxie. We'd better not use it. No, Zone. Are you going to take the word of a mop over a mayor? Mm, that's a tough decision. Not for me, it isn't. Mayor Grody has now joined the good guys. He'd never do a thing like that. The dome was finally finished. To show our appreciation for their help, we threw the Radiation Rangers a little rap party. Oh, these are jolly good rangers, but these are jolly good rangers, but these are jolly good rangers. Oh, oh it's hard to tell who's really right. There you have it, Sarzoster. The dome is now completed and right on schedule. Splendid. <laughs> Prepare Tromobile for the highest level of toxicity! As you command, almighty one. Dude, what's going on? The smog sucker has gone in the reverse. Instead of pumping the polluted air in, it's pumping it out. Oh, the sky! It, it, it's filling up with smog and smoke and, and, and schmutz! <laughs> It's awful. I can hardly breathe. And it's only the beginning. You have exactly five minutes to leave Tromoville before the Smogulon invasion. It's Kilimoff. He lied to us. <laughs> that goes for you two toxic crusaders. Say bye or die. <laughs> then this was all just a huge scam. Dr. Kilimoff took advantage of our innate good nature and innocence. Did you hear that, Psycho? The boss is a rotten, low-down, crooked rat after all. All, all right. right. My faith in villain kind is restored. Fellas, we'll have to turn off that smog sucker. Forget it, you freakazoids. Get them! Every crusader for himself. Whatever happened to one for all and all for one? It's copyrighted. Hey, Mop, it's cleanup time. <laughs> Hey, come back! We're not through mopping up! Mop, what is with you? We've got Mop to thank for that. Uh, what do we do about the smog sucker? There's no way to shut it off. Major disaster. You must use your powers to teleport this place out of Tromoville. Me? Move this place? But I only have control over vegetation and stuff. He's right. Oh, boy. Looks like all is lost. No, it's not. You guys have been barking up the wrong tree. What do you mean, Junkyard? Hey, this place is a recycling plant, isn't it? Yeah, so? So, plants are something major disaster can control. Gosh, I never thought of it that way. I'll give it a try. It's working, man. You're doing it. Get him out, you big 
dearly buddies! Yes, you're exalted, Sardis. Do you accept Kirk Heights? A toast to my son, the mutant, and his equally hideously deformed friends, the Toxic Crusaders! Thanks, Mom, but Mop here is the real hero of the day. Did you really know Mayor Grody was up to no good? And did you really know the glue would only hold for exactly 24 hours? But how did you know all that? You read the script. Oh. And now, these messages. Got Mop to thank for that. Uh, what do we do about the smog, sucker? There's no way to shut it off. Major disaster. You must use your powers to teleport this place out of Tromaville. Me? Move this place? But I only have control over vegetation and stuff. He's right. Oh boy. Looks like all is lost. No, it's not. You guys have been barking up the wrong tree. What do you mean, Junkyard? Hey, this place is a recycling plant, isn't it? Yeah, so? So, plants are something major disaster can control. Gosh, I never thought of it that way. I'll give it a try. It's working, man. You're doing it. Yes, you're exalted, Sardis. Do you accept Kirkites? A toast to my son, the mutant, and his equally hideously deformed friends, the Toxic Crusaders! Thanks, Mom, but Mop here is the real hero of the day. Did you really know Mayor Grody was up to no good? <laughs> and did you really know the glue would only hold for exactly 24 hours? But how did you know all that? You read the script. Oh. Stay right there. Another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming up next. With my transducer, I can create an army of unmanned monsters. Save me, Swamp Thing! Snap up! Swamp Thing rises to the rescue! Ah! Can Swamp Thing save him? Yes! Now for a taste of your own medicine! Gotcha! Swamp Thing, Guardian of the Earth! New transducer, Snap Up Swamp Thing, Arcane and Bio Jack, each sold separately. Swamp Thing, Guardian of the Earth! 
It all began as Dr. Alan Holland was working in his lab when evil Dr. Arcane attacked him. The lab exploded. Holland escaped only to be transformed into Swamp Thing. Brace yourself for battle as Swamp Thing unleashes his might to combat evil Arcane and his monstrous unmen. Who has the power, the strength to save the world? Swamp Thing, guardian of the earth. Don't miss the exciting adventures of Swamp Thing now on video cassette in toy stores everywhere. With my clever disguise kit, those little kids won't make me go cuckoo for my favorite cereal. Delicious, munchy, crunchy, chocolatey cocoa puffs. They're part of this delectable, nutritious breakfast. Gee, where's Sunny? Not here. Ah, uh, Philadelphia. We thought he'd like a bite of puff of cocoa mm. puffs. Chocolate tasting cocoa puffs. Munchy, crunchy, chocolatey. Cocoa puffs! Yahoo! I'm cuckoo for cocoa puffs! A most savory cereal. Tomahawk, just like we told you. Someone's been digging up the old Indian burial ground. My ancestors have kept this ground sacred for 500 years. What kind of person would rob graves? An, 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 an person. Look out! It's Skin Man! Get him, Tomahawk! Get him! Hey! <laughs> Just what I was looking for! The map to the lost cavern! Whoa! Just a worthless hunk of rock! Wrong, weed killer. This hunk of rock will lead me to the lost cavern where ancient Indians found the fountain of youth. Yeah! Don't you know nothing, weed brain? I know those scratchings don't make no sense. They will to someone who knows the language. Someone we can capture and force to tell us what the tablet says. I know which someone. That Indian game warden, Tomahawk. Yeah, but when Tomahawk's in trouble, Swamp Thing shows up. Don't worry about Swamp Thing. I'll handle that muck-encrusted mockery of a man. But first, Skin Man, I must transduce you into your most evil mutant form. Isn't there some easier way? There's only my way! Always! Climb in! One man! Arise! <coughs> Search the swamp! Find Tomahawk! The Fountain of Youth can give me immortality. It must be mine. Cheer up, Tomahawk. 
We'll get this burial ground back like your ancestors left it in no time. Yeah, nobody does better shovel work than me and JT. Take this, Delbert. Swampy's got my shovel. Why don't I just go to lunch? If Skin Man took that stone tablet to Arcane, you won't have time for a lunch break. No lunch? If there's any chance the Fountain of Youth really exists, Arcane will start tearing up the swamp to find it. My people believe it's real. They've told its legend for centuries. A real Fountain of Youth could benefit all of mankind. Yeah, Swampy. And maybe you could use it to cure yourself. If you could go back to being young, you could go back to being human. Hmm, maybe. Look out! <laughs> Guard the boys while I give Arcane's Unman his lunch. <laughs> 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 Skin Man's attack was a trick. Well, well, the guardian of the earth can't guard anybody. <laughs> I'll need your help to rescue Tomahawk. Anything you say, Swampy. I want you to get a message to Abby Arcane. There's only one way I can get inside the Arcane Plantation. Now listen, what I want you to do is get in there. What? Thanks, Abby. Now, tell me the shortest way to your stepfather's lab. But, Alec, it'll be too dangerous. It's the only way I can help Tomahawk. See what wondrous changes my transducer can make in a man. Now it's your turn to be transduced unless you do what I command. Get mute, mutant! Read me the directions to the Lost Cavern and the Fountain of Youth. Read them yourself. Strap this stubborn fool into the transducer. Release him, Arcane! How dare you invade my sanctuary! Unmen, attack! We killer, you fool! You wasted your shot! Get him! Yeah! Oh! Ah! Swamp Thing is mine! You will direct me to the Lost Cavern, or Swamp Thing will be transduced into a clump of useless chemicals. And if I do help you? Swamp Thing will go free. You win, Arcane. I'll read you the map. A wise decision. Take him to the Bayou Blaster. Transduce the muck monster into nothingness. With the Fountain of Youth giving me immortality, I won't need his secrets anymore. But you say it. Go! 
I know what I said, but transduce him anyway. Oh. After these messages, we'll be right back. The young men are back for revenge, and they want Swamp Thing. Weed Killer's poisoning Swamp Thing's home. Who can save it? Swamp Thing! Nobody poisons the Swamp Trap. I live here. It's feeding time for my Venus Flytrap. Ah! It won't stop me. Is this the ah! end of Swamp Thing? No. My mighty Bog Rover will put an end to you. Fire! Ah! Swamp Thing, oh! guardian of the Earth. Swamp Trap playset. Bog Rover and figures sold separately. Get ready for thrilling action when evil unmen battle Swamp Thing. Who can stop them from destroying the Earth? Swamp Thing! Watch them turn into evil unmen to battle Snare Arm Swamp Thing. You're no match for my mighty Snare Arm. But I am. Is he doomed? <laughs> no, now I'm a different Swamp Thing. I'm Bioglow. The Earth is safe. Bioglow and Snare Arm each sold separately. Swamp Thing, guardian of the Earth. Mad bog. mad bog, mad bog, mad bog, gross for one, gross for all. We play with a mad ball, they're gross, funny, yucky. Mad There's bog. eight holders for eight more mad balls. Snake bait, freaky fullback, splitting headache, locklets, swine sucker, ruse brother, Woof. breath, six face. We play with a mad ball, mad ball. we play with a mad ball, mad, mad ball. ball. Now eight great mad balls are joined by eight great more, so separately from egg toy. Mad ball. Kids, kids, cookies for breakfast? But we love cookies. Well, why didn't you say so? Oh, you can't have cookies for breakfast, but you can have cookie crisps. You can have that crunchy cookie taste with lots of chocolatey chips. Looks like little cookies. But it's a cereal and part of a complete breakfast, so just remember this. No, you can't have cookies for breakfast. But you can have cookie crisps. Cookie crisp cereal. You can have cookie crisps. It's all over for you, Muck Man! <coughs> Alan, I've got to do something fast! Get off me, you furball! I don't know which of those two is the bigger rat. The entrance to the Lost Cavern is somewhere here in Dead Man's Bog. But where, Tomahawk? Where? Through the waterfall. You better not be lying to me, Tomahawk. Well, well, well. What have we here? I found it! The secret entrance to the Lost Cavern! Dr. Arcane, uh, this is Weed Killer, uh, Swamp Thing. He's escaped! Weed killer, you mindless mutant! Can't you do anything right? You promised you would let Swamp Thing go if I helped you. I lied. Skin Man, you take Tomahawk into the cavern. I will create a mutant surprise for Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing will be here soon, and my new uncreature will take care of him. Arcane took the high roads, I'll take the low road. The Bayou Blaster! Kane never was very good at covering his tracks. Something's not quite right around here. 
Whoa! Whoa! Get up! Sheer strength doesn't work. Just have to build a better fish trap. Oh, I gotta remember this place. It's a great fishing hole. Now to stop our cane. There it is, the tunnel we've been looking for. The tablet says that no man can pass through that tunnel. Maybe no man can pass, but my unman will. Won't you, skin man? What happened? According to the tablet, even the slightest noise will cause the stalactites to fall. Welcome to the Tunnel of Silence. I refuse to be stopped when I'm so close to my goal! Dr. Arcade, look! Swamp, Swamp thing? <laughs> but how? We're trapped! We can't go forward! We can't go back! What now? We'll let Swamp Thing take care of the Tunnel of Silence. And the Tunnel of Silence take care of him! <laughs> Quick, hide! We'll fix that nuisance. Hey, muck man, eat rock. Huh? Yo! Leave Tomahawk here. The muckmeister may have found what we're looking for. <laughs> Legend is true. There is a fountain of youth. Ooh. No one can drink from these magic waters. Ooh. Wait! I don't want to fight you. Oh. 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 oh yeah! Skin man! Keep those two busy while I gulp down my fill of immortality. Oh. Oh. Okay, bad face. Take a look at my bioglow powers. No! Stop! Too bright! I can't see! What manner of creature are you? Why did you save me? Arcane! He's drinking from your fountain! No! Do not drink! The price is too high! At last, I've done it. I have reversed my age. I have achieved my immortality. And I have failed. I did not save you from the fountain's curse. How could this be a curse? You'd better listen to him, Arcane. I have won. I don't need your growth formula now. You are expendable. Wow! Ooh. Oh, no! This chamber's caving in! We better join them! I cannot leave. I must stay to guard the fountain. It is my sacred pledge. Crew! Swamp thing! Hang on, Tomahawk! Ah! 
That wall is falling in. We can't hold it. Nice try, but it's not enough. I thought you couldn't leave the chamber. How could I not help the creature who saved me? Push harder! We can do it! I can't believe this. What happened to you? The power of the Fountain of Youth does not extend beyond the chamber. That is the price of immortality. Will you become young again if we take you back to the fountain? Yes, but you must hurry. <sighs> Thank you. Now I can guard the fountain for another thousand years. You've been here a thousand years? At least. I came to find eternal youth, but I found only a prison. You must drink this water every day? Yes, or become my true age. That is why I guard the fountain, to protect others from my fate. Then Arcane's immortality won't last. No, and neither will you if you stay here. The cave-in has started again! Hurry! If you don't leave now, there will be no escape! Now to make sure that Swamp Thing is trapped forever, and I can enjoy my immortal life. <laughs> At last, the end of Swamp Thing. Hmm, I'd almost forgotten how distinguished looking I am. Ugh, green growing things, I hate them. Skin Man, destroy him. You may abuse my unman, but you can't hurt me. I'm immortal now. Only if you go back to the Fountain of Youth, and the caverns collapse behind us. <laughs> You've defeated yourself, Arcane. What are you saying, you fool? Look at me. I'm young. I'm handsome. I... I... No! 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 If only the Fountain of Youth could have made you human again, Swampy. The Fountain was a trap for greedy people like Arcane. People who want easy answers. My own answer will be hard, but that won't stop me from finding it. Somehow. Someday I will become Dr. Alec Holland again. I'll continue the scientific work which the world needs so badly. And until then, no evil that Arcane tries will stop me. Another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way. Surrender or pay the consequences. Earth's most powerful soldiers are Earth's last chance to fight the spirals of darkness.
It's all right, Stephen. I understand. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. We are ready, Overlord. Begin. Back here, Max, before we lose you, too. Are they all right? They're inside. I want to talk to you, Commander. I just wanted to thank you for saving my family. I don't know what I'd do if... It's all part of the job. Forget it. You don't think a military man should have a family, do you, Dirk? You made your decision, I made mine. I just wish I knew which one of us is right. The Zone Riders are your family. Does that include you? Especially me. Bandit. I'm here, Overlord. You planted the miniature Zone pod. It's in the pocket of McFarland's overcoat. Then, tomorrow we will take MCC. I'll be home early tonight. Good day, General. Room. We've detected a new zone generator in Minneapolis. That's the food distribution hub for the whole Midwestern Command. We'll have to send in the zone riders. We'll be over Minneapolis in two minutes. We're penetrating the zone. What's that? A mini disc player. It's new. It contains everybody's greatest hits. I'm taking her down. There it is. Excellent. The 
with the Zone Riders gone, MCC will be helpless against the Zone. The secret formula for Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flake Cereal. I'm part of the tiger, sir. Quick, after the formula. <laughs> the formula makes them a delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. The secret taste of Frosted Flakes makes Tony's day. They're great. <laughs> Think they learned a lesson, Tony? I say they got the point. <laughs> New Mad Balls are so obnoxious and weird, they'll gross out the entire family. You can toss them, catch them, smash them. You'll want to collect all the Mad Balls, including the new 6 series. Just squeeze them till they ooze. They're repulsive. Totally gross. Cool. The Totally Slimy 6 series. Mad Balls. Mad Balls and new 6 series Mad Balls are all sold separately. Zone Riders to MCC. Come in, McFarlane. Talk to me, General. Zone Riders to MCC computer. This is Commander Dirk Courage. Confirm my voice print identification. And deactivate computer control defenses. Repeat, deactivate defenses. Everybody outside, quick! Away, Dirk. Stay away. No, no. Come in, McFarland. Stephen. We've lost all communications with MCC. Something's jamming computer control, too. That's why the automated defenses fired on us. Somehow, Overlord must have gotten a zone generator inside MCC. We have got to get inside and knock that generator out, or everybody in MCC will be under Overlord's control. We may not have much time. MCC is a closed environment completely self-contained. The zone may take effect much faster than normally. United Nations Defense Command the Zone Riders. Respond immediately. This is a top priority message. Commander Courage, sir. We've been monitoring your communications, Commander. We've issued orders to the 71st Defense Force Bomber Wing to destroy MCC immediately. The bombers have orders to reduce MCC to rubble. I'm afraid we have no choice. You have got to give us a chance to get inside and knock out that generator. 
The bombers will be on top of you in one hour, Commander. We have one hour. I know how to get inside. I can go down one of the vents to the geothermal energy plant under the mountain. If I shut down the turbines, it will cut off the power for the defenses. All right. But Hero goes. Why Hero instead of me? Because it's his job. <sighs> yes, sir. Outside MCC in one hour. By that time, everyone inside will be totally under my control. Open it up. He's inside. Hero, come in, hero. Oh, I've lost him. Uh, sound must activate. Uh. Farland, now maybe Hero. Wing Commander to Zone Riders. Courage here. Get your team out of there, Commander. You've got ten minutes. Understood. Maybe Hero's cut the power to the defenses. There's only one way to find out if they're still working. Dirk! Come on. Now! To Mission Command Central. McFarland, this is your new master speaking. This is General McFarland. All security forces 
Destroy the Zone Riders immediately. It's too late. Here they come. Katarina, we'll hold them off. You find that generator. That's your job. Good luck. All weapons on stun force. was enough to set it off. Well, from now on, everyone entering MCC will simply have to be scanned for zone pods. Yes, he's right here. Goodbye, dear. Commander Courage. Yes, General? I'm having dinner with my family tonight. Someone who outranks both of us says I should invite you. Consider it an order, Dirk. Place to prove it. X-Men headquarters! The danger rooms! 
Sabretooth and Apocalypse are breaking in. What do you do? The Wrecking Ball! What about Apocalypse? The Bad Laser! Watch out, kid! The pivoting Bomb Blaster! Now what? The X-Track! I shall return, X-Men! <laughs> Only X-Men get into X-Men headquarters. Action figures sold to the I love the crunchy wheat taste of Kellogg's mini wheats, but the frosting side agrees with the little kid in me. The whole grain shredded wheat side to me is quite superior. But the light frosting, this is my girlish interior. Kellogg's regular and apple frosted mini wheat cereals, part of this nutritious breakfast. For me, the manly side of mini wheats is fitting, but the frosting's good too, and I'm not kidding. Beware, the mutant seeking sentinel. Target identified. Mutant apprehended. Wanna mix it up, big boy? My adamantine claws will get rolled back. I've always had trouble with man. My optic blast will give him trouble. Firing projectile arm. Now, sentinel, you will be defeated. Arr! Sentinel robot playset and X-Men action figures. Each sold separately. How about Aunt Jemima fixes you up with something toasty instead? New Aunt Jemima pancakes sound good? Then get your toaster. That's right, Aunt Jemima spent a lot of time sifting and whisking to make pancakes so good you wouldn't believe they came out of a toaster. Nothing could be finer than the taste of Aunt Jemima in the Showbeam projector, batteries not included. Snap in a cartridge and you can beam 28 scenes of Spider-Man or Spider-Woman on the wall. On the floor. On the other wall. On the cat. Over there. I'm dead. Well, maybe not dead. GAF Viewmaster Showbeam Projector. 18 other cartridges sold separately. Marathon winner Bill Rogers and his mother disagree about breakfast. I'm always on the run, so my sausage has got to be fast. Well, when you lived at home, I made great tasting sausage. But, Mom... My sausage has the finest spices. It's so juicy and tasty. Mmm. Mine tastes great, too. It takes just five minutes. My, my sausage, sausage is Swift Premium Brown and Serve. <laughs> Swift Premium Brown and Serve Sausage. Great taste. Mmm. Without the weight. <laughs> 
Also try brown and serve country recipe. Whoa, Spider-Man! Sorry I can't hang around. Because the action's at McDonald's. Now you can get a Spider-Man Happy Meal with cool characters and their hot cars. Spider-Man, I just saw Scorpion in the drive-thru. One with every Spider-Man Happy Meal you buy. which I choose to give them. And that is for their own good, believe me. I do, Dr. Doom. I have for all our years together. But... They disappoint me. They must work faster, Boris. The satellite tracking station must be completed before the Americans launch their space platform. The guidance system Goron teleported here must be in place on time. But the prisoner, Johan. Ah, yes. The young traitor who is trying to turn my people against me. Watch him carefully, Boris. I have special plans for that one. But a touch of my finger, I detonate an explosion in Greenland. And another, the jungles of Mexico. My calculations are, of course, precise. And the result, exactly as I predict. My explosions have created a new earthquake fault. And New York City trembles on the brink of extinction. Soon, Boris, it won't be a holographic image I hold in my hand, but the Earth itself. Has the laser cannon been loaded aboard my jet? Everything has been prepared as you ordered. But how did you get permission to return to New York, Master? Through the efforts of a pompous, misguided fool. It's free enterprise! And I'm not gonna let some blasted government bureaucrat tell me how to run my business. But, Dr. Doom... ...will be my guest on my private estate on Long Island. He's the head of state of an officially recognized country. There's nothing you can do about it. He's dangerous, Mr. Jameson. I just hope you know what you're doing. Don't I always. I don't want you making such a fuss. But it's only fair, Aunt May. You always bring me chicken soup when I'm sick. Oh, that's what I answer for, dear. Oh, I wish Cousin B could come up from Florida and help out for a few days. I know how much schoolwork you have. Why don't you visit Cousin B in warm, sunny Florida? Mm, it would be nice. But, you know, we simply can't afford it, dear. Don't you worry, Aunt May. I'll find a way. <laughs> now, don't worry about me, dear. You just hurry to your class. Don't want to be late. Oh, Petey! Don't forget to wear your heavy coat and galoshes. <laughs> you know how fragile you are. <laughs> Science 
scientist predicts earthquake for New York City. Hey, Professor Erwin Potts claims to have discovered a new earthquake fault off the coast of New York. Other scientists laugh at his discovery. This will be great for my geology class. And speaking of class, I'd better swing into high gear or I'll be late again. That's what could happen if a major earthquake were to hit New York City. Of course, there aren't any major earthquake faults around here. Professor Higgins, what about today's reports of a new fault? No real scientist takes anything Professor Potts says seriously. Why, the man's a crackpot. Always has been a real wacko. I wonder about that. Ah, there's Doom's jet. Right on time. Why is it so cold down here? Uh, the heat went out in the whole building. I'll bet Jameson is warm enough out there on his Long Island estate with Dr. Doom. Doom? Here in New York? Yes, it was Jameson's idea. He heard that Dr. Doom has an amazing new machine. Doom claims it can bore a hole right down to the Earth's core. Then Jameson plans on selling the heat from the center of the Earth to the city. How long is all this going to take, Doom? Dr. Doom, I would not advise you to repeat that error. Sure. I know what you mean. I hate it when some people call me J.J. J.J.? Yeah, what do you... Parker! Mr. Robertson sent me to take pictures. Get in, huh? Well, just don't get in the way. my spider sense. Professor Potts' earthquake fault is right under J.J.'s estate. Parker, quiet! We've got work to do. Go take pictures. Uh, right, J.J. Don't call me! Behold! Excellent. Yes. Might as well get some pictures of me and my laughing boy together again. If Doom's boring machine hits the earthquake fault, it's bye-bye New York. It's the wall crawler! Yes, I've been expecting him. Dr. Doom, that was my rose garden. Somebody's got to stop you while there's still time. Never. What Dr. Doom wishes, Dr. Doom does. <sighs> and now, to end your mindless meddling once and for all, just as dogs and other animals are affected by ultra-high-pitched sounds, so are spiders. Oh! Prepare for the final chord. What the... Is this going on? It started. The earthquakes have begun. is Web Spinning Spider-Man with Flyaway Action Pack. Assembly required. Load the web spinning fluid and squeeze. Web Spinning Spider-Man. Small webs, big webs. Spider-Man webs are catchy webs. Webs around fingers, webs around legs. Webs, webs, web spinning Spider-Man. <laughs> 
web-spinning Spider-Man with fly-away action pack and web-spinning fluid by Migo. Athletes have to be in great shape. Dancers are athletes too, you know. I train hard, every day. So do I. And when I train, I eat Dan and yogurt, every day. I even eat it at breakfast, because it's honest, natural, and high in nutrition. But not high in calories. So good nutrition with Dan and yogurt helps me keep on my toes. And that's what helps me keep, keep on my toes. Dan and low-fat yogurt, a good thing going for you every day. Pretend you're Spider-Man. Your mission, to rescue your friend high above. A job for your Spider-Man web shooter. Flip your secret wristband, take aim, and down slides your man to safety. But wait, there go the bad guys. Reload, take aim, shoot, zap, got him, bring him in. The Spider-Man web shooter supports the weight of toys only, doll and truck not included. Buy fun stuff. Spots before, but hey, it gives me an idea. I get the feeling that's a shortcut to China. There. It's a long shot. But it's my only chance to get out of here. In exactly 30 minutes, my laser cannon will melt through the earthquake fault. When that happens, all of New York will begin to crumble and slowly slip into the sea. My house! Turn it off! You're ruining my house! Get the President of the United States on the phone. He fixes houses? He says, you say the worker from the guard's whip. Is this a trick? Why would I resort to trickery? You're already a prisoner. What do I gain by deceiving you? You can't blame me for being suspicious. No, but come. We must hurry. Wait. If you are really with us, prove it. Let me hear you say it. Tell me that Dr. Doom is a tyrant and must be overthrown. I... I've spent my life serving Latveria. Say it! You have spent your life serving a tyrant. Come, quickly! 
You're wrong about Dr. Doom. He too is a freedom fighter, just as you are. In those days, Latveri was ruled by a different tyrant, the Baron. Why? Why must we always run, Father? We can fight them. Always ready to fight, no matter the odds. Just like your poor mother. She would be alive today if not for... Von Doom and his father the next morning, nearly frozen to death. <laughs> they have murdered my mother, and now they have killed my father. They will pay. All of mankind shall pay for this. Even then, I had the uneasy feeling it wasn't young Victor Von Doom who would need my protection. The gypsy's medicine cured my headache, but my hair, my hair! Gypsy, he sold me dust, not gold. Get him! Victor Van Doom, you are accused of. <laughs> Fool, did you really think Victor Van Doom could be captured so easily? Uh, it's a life-size doll, a, a robot. And so the legend of the strange young gypsy grew until... Victor, a stranger to see you. Hello, I'm Dean Stockton of Eastern State University in America, and I'm prepared to offer you a full science scholarship. Victor used the college, used its modern scientific equipment to conduct strange, forbidden experiments. Hey, Vic, I've been going over some of your notes, and I'm afraid you're a couple of decimal points off on some of your figures. Out! I have no time for you. Okay, find out for yourself. At last. His experiments ended abruptly. <laughs> What have I done to myself? My face, it is hideous. And so, Victor Von Doom hid from the world, taking refuge with the mysterious order of monks. Here he became Dr. Doom. A fascinating story, but it changes nothing. Doom must be stopped. I fear you're right, my friend. Here, this is the address of friends in New York. They'll help. The President of the United States is on the phone. Mr. President, in less than 10 minutes, a massive earthquake will strike New York City. Unless you're prepared to meet my terms. It is time you learned, once and for all, Dr. Doom, the United States does not barter with terrorists. Well, Mr. Secretary, our intelligence reports were correct. Doom's cannon on the Jameson estate must be destroyed. Dr. Doom, 
I think it's... Silence. Your usefulness has ended. If I can cover these panels with web fluid, the laser cannon will shut down. Tracking indicates target dead ahead. Uh-oh, here comes the cavalry. If Doom doesn't get me, the good guys will. Only one thing left to do. Attack head-on before the jets fire their rockets. No! Fire all rockets in ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven... My mansion, my beautiful mansion. If it weren't for Spider-Man, none of this would have happened. I don't believe what I just heard. Oh, brother. Fortunately, the cannon can be repaired. It's vital we ship it to the Space Center in Florida at once. It must be on the new space platform when it is launched next month. It's time for hot chocolate. With double chocolate, just like you wanted. Well, Parker, I want you to know it's swell of you to let me stay here while my mansion's being repaired. My pleasure, JJ. After all, if you hadn't bought those pictures I took of Spidey fighting Dr. Doom, Aunt May couldn't have gone to Florida to visit her cousin. Don't mention the name of Spider-Man to me ever again. And where's the tiny marshmallows, Parker? You said there'd be tiny marshmallows. <laughs> After these messages, we'll be right back. It's Energize Spider-Man with Spider-Sense. Battery not included. Turn the Spider-Sense activator. Red Dragon appears to go into action. Attach the web climber. Flip the switch. And he climbs automatically. Energize Spider-Man. The motorized web. It pulls. It lifts. The Spider-Light to climb at night. The Spider-Copter sold separately with Spider-Sense panel. The power pack turns on the copter. We'll have to get the Red Dragon. Energize Spider-Man with Spider-Sense comes with communicator. Spider-Copter sold separately from Remco. They say identical twins do identical things. But Kay and I are different. Sure, we both play pro basketball. And since we can't always eat right, we both look for the same kind of nutrition, Dan and yogurt. Dan and all natural and not many foods give you more nutrition with fewer calories. But that's it. That's where we part company. Yeah, because when it comes to Dan and I like blueberry, while Faye here goes for blueberry. Dan and low-fat yogurt. A good thing going for you every day. Hey, dead burnage! What's wrong? They left without breakfast again. What are you serving? Beans, what else? Yuck. How about fruit flavors? Fruit? That's different. Come follow my nose. Got a nose big as Texas. It's always nose. Whoa, came on Fruit Loop cereal. With natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors, and a full day supply of vitamin C. Part of this complete breakfast. Well, little birdie, I'm making Fruit Loops my brand. <laughs> Stay tuned, another action-packed lineup of Saturday Morning Cartoon Max Out is coming your way. So here's the fact, so we got power to 
Wildcats Mission Log, 16.5. If a man's home is his castle, then a man's company is his kingdom. And Halo Enterprises seems to have barbarians at the gate. Ugly ones, too. The optics lab. That's where the lens is. Move it! for which you have neither the stomach nor the taste. Time to cook a cat. Let him go! Whoa! That's more like it. Mission terminated. Abort! Abort! I hear that! think they were after? Whatever it was, they didn't get it. Grifter will be sorry he missed the action. Yeah, where is the G-Man anyway? He has gone to greet an old friend, he hopes. It's midnight. Technically, he's a free man now. But it's not our policy to release any prisoner we're holding until morning. You weren't holding him, he was just doing his time. You seem pretty confident. I trained him myself. He could have left whenever he wanted. Not a chance. That prison is equipped with Halo Security's best equipment. <laughs> Care to back that statement with, say, 50 clams? 50? How about five? Wimp. All right, 50 then. But there is no way! Gentlemen, real sorry to have kept you waiting. All right, Mr. Lonely, you're a free man now. Try to stay that way. No problem, Warden. Lonely's gonna be helping my good buddy Mr. Marlowe here improve his security systems. Right, money bags? By the way, pay up. Welcome to the straight and narrow, kid. Ready to go legit? Been ready for two years, Cole. Good to see you. I must be out of my mind, hiring con men and crooks. Next thing you know, I'll have a Daemonite on a payroll. I am running out of patience, Duckwell. How dare the Trika bungle a simple robbery? It was the Wildcats, Lord Hillspont. 
We cannot make a move against Halo Enterprises without their knowledge. Perhaps we should obtain the lens elsewhere. No! Only Halo makes the X-ray lens I need to find the orb. And with it, regain my dominion of the galaxy. Fortunately, I have a plan to completely neutralize Halo security. Whoa! A Halo System 8? Top of the line! Yep, but remember what I taught you. A drop of graphite on the friction wheel and... The scan motor skids to a halt. Uh, that was the System 7, Cole. The System 8 has a toothed wheel. Hey, I did what you said. Use the time in prison to study. Proud of you, kid. Makes you the right man for the job. Uh, Cole? I just got one question. Uh, you know, back when we were pulling jobs together, you always said the only thing that mattered was the money. What changed your mind? I found something that mattered even more, kid. I'd like you to meet him now. The Wildcats. Folks, I'd like you to meet Lonely. He and I robbed a lot of places together. He did time that I probably should have done myself. But he's going straight now, like me. And he's gonna help us improve our security systems. Mr. Lonely, the Grifter has proven himself to be an able member of the Wildcats team. Because of his recommendation, we are giving you a chance. Right. But one chance is all you get. Understand? That's all I ask, sir. Good. Then step into my office. We got things to discuss. You are certain this is wise? The man was a criminal. So was I, remember? Yes, but... Hey, you and the Wildcats, you gave me a second chance. I just figure it's time I did the same for somebody else. So, you're the expert. You tell me. How do we revamp Halo security? Well, sir, like I demonstrated at the prison. Use an expert such as myself to find the weak spots. You mean stage a break-in at my own company? Exactly, sir. I'll try to bypass security and determine the weak spots. Have you had any problems lately? Funny you should mention that. Had a security breach just the other night at Halo Optical. Ah. Then perhaps we should start there. Sounds good. We'll do it tomorrow night. <laughs> I hope for your sake you bring good news. I do indeed, Lord Hellspont. A security test is scheduled for tomorrow night at Halo Optical. Excellent! Excellent! Then as soon as the security systems have been bypassed... Yes, Lord. The X-ray lens will be ours for the taking. And with it, the orb. And thus the galaxy will soon be mine. <laughs> Have a seat, Grifter. Need to talk to you. Sure. Hey, I hear you're gonna let Lonely stage a test at Halo Optical. That's great. If the security system has some weak points, the kid'll find him. No sweat. That's kind of what concerns me, Grifter. What do you mean? It's your friend Lonely. When he was in here yesterday, he was wearing a Daemonite bug. Void spotted him. Now wait just a minute. Lonely straight. Calm down. You know he is. Heck, he could have busted out of prison long ago, but he wanted to do his time. I said, calm down! I'm not accusing Lonely of anything. That's a Daemonite transmitter dart. Could have been fired from anywhere. From its location on his clothing, it is doubtful that Lonely even knew of its presence. But it does mean that old Smoke Skull knows about our planned security test. Then we'll have to cancel. No. Better we go ahead with it. It's our chance to catch Hellspawn off guard, but we'll take precautions. The Daemonites are sure to attack once the system's been disarmed. Any idea of Hellspawn's objective in the raid? Yeah, this. It's an X-ray lens. Halo Optical's the only place that makes them. Gotta be what he's after. Records of recent Daemonite robberies would indicate that they are constructing a sophisticated satellite. With the X-ray lens in place, Hellspawn could conceivably scan several miles below the Earth's surface. So he's looking for something buried. What? That we don't know, but it's a sure bet we don't want him to find it. Spartan, 
Assemble the rest of the team inside Halo Optical tonight. Tell them to be ready for anything. As for the rest of you, this conversation was confidential. Understand? Yeah, all too well. He is angry. And I don't blame him. But right now, we're doing what we gotta do. Which reminds me, there's something else I want you to take care of. Lord Hellspont, this is Duckwell. We are approaching Halo Optical now. Hold your position, fool. But make ready. We attack the moment the security systems are deactivated. The rest of the Wildcats will not know of our raid until it is too late for them to respond. There she is, kid. Strut your stuff. You and me got a lot to prove to a few people. What do you mean? Never mind. Just make me proud. Sensors along the top can't go over. Take too long to go under. And the alarm will sound if we cut through. So we don't cut. We just bend them a little. Good call, kid. I'll have Marlow put sensors on the bars from now on. Put them in the ground, too. Or better yet, landmines. For real security. You take this mighty serious. While I was in prison, I designed the perfect system. Nothing could get through. Love to see the plans. I, uh, gave them to somebody. Let's go. Get ready, Troika. Just a few more moments. Security box should have an alarm. Or better yet, a booby trap. Don't think Marlo would go for that. Thought you were tough guys. There, security system deactivated. Now, attack, attack! Whoa! Get to cover! Oh! Oh yeah! While the cats are away, the Troika will play. That's where you're wrong, Daemonite scum. Let's roar, Wildcats! Hammer them! We gotta get that lens! Look out! What's going on? What are the Wildcats doing here? I'll explain later, kid. Right now, let's get you to safety. Let's make sure they don't find it. Smart thinking, kid. Now let's bail. Let's finish it, cats. Duckwell, pull us out! Looks like the party's over for tonight. But you did good, kid. Kid? Party's over for you anyway. No! Kid, no! Don't do this! You used to be the best, Cole. You were my hero. But let's face it, being a good guy has made you soft. Kid! End of the road, Cole. Sorry. No! Tell us what happened, Grifter. It's lonely. He got the lens. The Daemonites! Those blasted bug faces must have possessed him! 
We saw him taken aboard the hover ship. It would appear he went willingly. I... I got a good look at him, Grifter. He wasn't possessed. I'm sorry. No. No, not lonely. He was my friend. I trusted him. We've got to get him back. No one who works for the Daemonite stays unpossessed for long. Yeah. Besides, they got the lens. Not for long! We already called for Merv! Yeah! Talk about fast service! Let's just hope it's fast enough. They are headed for that missile base, directly ahead. That place? It was abandoned years ago! Not anymore. Now it looks like it's crawling with Daemonites. That missile's ready to launch! I got a bad feeling about this. Whoa! Hang on. Can't get through. We'd be sliced and diced. Strange, this is not a standard Daemonite defense. Lonely. He said he'd designed the perfect security system. He must have given the design to Hellspot. He said nothing could get through. Think he was right? Only one way to find out. Let's roar! Spartan! Pulsed microwaves. Jamming my cybernetics. I'll get you. Can't. Get free! I'll handle it. Oh! Daemonite scum! For that you shall pay! Wait! Tried to tell you, those electrodes were charged. Grifter, forget us. Get going. You've got to get lonely. And that lens. If anyone can get through that system, you can. All right, but I'll be back. Let's see. Electrified fence. Weapons on the top. Landmines outside. Real good, lonely boy but not good enough. Oh yeah, the original, and still the best. There, lens delivered as promised. You got my payoff? Oh yes, and your reward will be most fulfilling. Don't move, Dockwell. I'd vape you right now, but that body you're in might have been somebody decent. But that won't stop me if you make a move. Lonely, grab that lens and come on, we're taking it back. What? And we'll all pretend this never happened, right? Nah, you blew it, kid. You're going back to prison. But at least you'll do it with your soul intact. You can start over someday. Believe me, it's more than you'd get from these body-snatching bug faces. Gee, Cole, don't know how I can pass up such a generous offer, but I think I will. What's wrong with you, kid? You didn't know about the transmitter bug. <laughs> I'll give it up, Cole. I did my time because they paid me to do it. They knew you'd try to recruit me, and I knew about the bug. But I figured you might detect it, so I had it planted in a way that would keep me looking innocent. Like I said, Cole, you're getting soft. I ran this whole grift right under your nose, grifter, and you didn't even see it. Kid, please. This is your last chance. No, grifter. I'm afraid it's your last chance. What? Hey! <laughs> what? What is this? Let him go! This wasn't part of the deal! The deal is over, Mr. Lonely. You'll be one of us now. No! No! Kid! Kid! Lonely! No! No! Lonely! Fire the missile! Now! <laughs> Lonely. Oh. 
Security system deactivated. Yuck. Oh, feel like I've been stuck under a theater seat for three days. Not one of our best nights, cats. Yeah, Hellspont got the lens. Oh, I wouldn't say that. What? Now how the heck did you work that? Hey, when I figured out old Chimney Top was after this gizmo, I wasn't just gonna leave it lying around. Head Void whip up a fake. Made from transparent C7. Plastic explosive? Yep, gonna be real interesting when Hellspont pumps a beam through that, baby. At last, my long-awaited goal is near at hand. Activate the scanning beam, now! What? No! No! Bless you, Marlo! Marlo told me about the switch. The man's a conniving, sneaky, underhanded scoundrel. I like that. He is fond of you as well. It saddens him to see you grieve. <sighs> Lonely was my friend. When the chips were down, he gave his life for mine. Why couldn't he just have wised up a little earlier? You cannot force people to do the right thing. You can only offer them the opportunity and hope that they take it. <sighs> we'll beat him someday, Lonely. And maybe then, you'll get another chance. Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go, 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 go! Gonna rock the town without being seen Have you ever seen a turtle get down? down. Slamming and jamming to the new swing sound yeah. yeah, everybody let's move Vanilla is filled with a new jack groove Gonna rock and roll the place With the power of the ninja turtle face Iceman, you know I'm not playing Devastate the show what the turtles are saying Ninja, ninja, rap Ninja, ninja, rap Ninja, ninja, rap Go, 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 go ninja, go, ninja, go Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go, 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 go! Lyrics, fill in the gap. Drop that bass and get the ninja rap. Just feel it, if you know what I mean. Give it up for the heroes in green. Just flowing, smooth with the power. Kicking it up hour after hour. Cause in this life, there's only one winner. You better aim straight, you can hit the center. In it to win it with a team of four. Ninja turtles that you got at the door. It's ninja, ninja, rap. Vanilla's in control with the flex of a mic grip Rocking the crowd the way it should be rocked With the Miami 
I know that you did. And make sure that you don't dislike it, because if you do, we have the revenge of the Toe Munchers. No! And as usual, we have a little bit of artwork to share, to show off to the universe. But this is the Yizzle's artwork first. Explain your artwork, the Yizzle. Um, I just wanted to paint something neat and like kind of good and then I wanted to add like a darker purple and I messed up so I had to put white in this whole area and now it looks weird. I don't think it looks weird. Do you but think it looks weird? this area looks good. Bravo. Bravissimo for the Yizzles. Now, we must look at the most recent submitted of the Max Squad artists. So, feast your eyes upon this one. And make sure that if you have a piece of art, that you send it on in to us at smc.maxout at gmail.com and we shall put your masterpiece up on display for the world to see. And make sure if you haven't already, go mash that like button and subscribe to our channel. And go head over to our other channel, KK Weasel, and mash mash <laughs> that like button and subscribe to that button. And subscribe to that channel as well. I'm gonna cough. And make sure that you hit up Friday Night Socks. Be here with us next week as we show the last action max of the second season. Oh yes, it's coming to a close. It's only two seasons and they're already gone. Poof, gone, gone with the wind. Just make sure that you are with us from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time! Eastern Standard Time! Eastern Standard Time! Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. I have sinus pressure building up in my ear! But for right now, get comfy, because we got a little bit of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but not the 87 ones, not these guys. Oh no, it's the 90s ones, but still pretty good. So hang out for the next hour, watch some Ninja Turtles, and we will see you next time in the same magical hours, the same mutagenic time, right here on Saturday Morning to You must become one with the shadows. Darkness gives the ninja power, while light reveals the ninja's presence. Now, can you extinguish this flame without revealing yourselves? Too noisy, Donatello. Clumsy, Michelangelo. Poor 
choice, Raphael. Ninja dropout. <laughs> my sons. My sons. If you are to become true ninja, you must work harder. Your path in life will not be an easy one. The outside world will not be a friendly place for you. You four are different in ways the surface dwellers would never understand. To survive, you must master these skills I teach you. Ninjutsu powers of stealth and secrecy. You must become Kage, shadow warriors. And you must never be discovered by the outside world. Huh? Huh? What is that noise? Whoa! Earthquake! In New York? Possible, but not likely. New York City cockroaches? Whatever they are, they picked the wrong party to crash! Hey, Leo! Think fast! things. Whatever they were, <coughs> they're junk now. Guys, Splinter, we've got to find Splinter. Master Splinter, can you hear me? Donatello, any way to... What are you doing? Shell Cell, I'm calling Master Splinter. I hope... button do you press to answer this thing? <sighs> Hello? Master Splinter, are you alright? Hello? Master Splinter, Stupid device. you don't have to press any buttons. You already answered it. Ah, uh, Leonardo, whatever those mechanical menaces are, they have managed to eat through the support structure of our home. We must leave right away. Meet me at the old drainage junction near <laughs> South Point. If we take the south conduit, it'll intersect with the old drainage tunnel. We'll meet you there, Sensei. What'd he say? What'd he say? Did he mention me? Ooh. Goodbye, broken pipe. Goodbye, grungy payphone. Goodbye, dented manhole cover. Goodbye, home sweet home. Hello, cruel world. Come on! Ooh. Looks like those things have been through here. These walls are seriously compromised. It's lucky this roof hasn't caved in. You were saying? <sighs> Can't go forward. Can't go back. Looks like we go up. Hitting the surface is a bad idea. We've got no other way to go, Leo. <sighs> All right, but we're only going up to go down the next manhole. Got it? No fooling around. Remember what Sensei said. It's dangerous for us to be seen, let alone captured. We need to stay out of sight. We got it the first thousand times, Leo. Just follow my lead. Come on, Leo, move it. I don't want to be staring at your 
butt any longer than I have to. Shh, guys! Just great. The old turtle luck working true to form. <clears throat> Way to be stealthy, Raph. Yeah, I don't think they heard you over in Joyzy. Give me a hand. Mm. Don't even think about it, Mikey. Ah, forget you guys, I'm pushing myself. Choice, Raphael. <laughs> Did you see the way that guy squirmed when we took his cash? <laughs> Cheap, man. Cheap to be fleeced by us wolves. <laughs> Surprise when they open the back of that truck. This is exactly what Master Splinter was talking about. We've got to get him out of there. Last one to the roof, hatched from a rotten egg. We can cut them off at third and first. If we run like crazy, is there any other way to run? <laughs> yeah! You guys are too slow! <gasps> hey! Mmm, <laughs> springtime fresh! <laughs> Hey, Teuton, watch the truck. We wouldn't want somebody to steal our stolen money. <laughs> huh? Hey, this is a no parking zone. Here's your ticket, and here's your fine. Whoa! whoa. Nice work, Mikey. Huh. It's a ninja thing. Now, let's get Raph out of there. Man, whatever happened to good old-fashioned padlocks? <laughs> Where's the fun in that? This one's all mine. <laughs> What's that, Raphael? You're gonna have to speak up, dude. I can uh, hear you. Uh, <laughs> okay, I heard that. I'm trying to work here.
Welcome back, bro. What a hothead. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Whoa! Uh, Rev, we don't have time for this. And why not? Because we're not alone. Look at the freaks. What's with the dweeby costumes? This ain't Halloween. You're going down, freaks. Nobody messes with the purple dragons, especially wearing stupid turtle costumes. Some green. Well, that was easier than expected. I hope there are more of those guys. I'm just getting warmed up. Ah, uh, well, looks like you got your wish, Raffy boy. Are those guys ninjas? Be ready for anything. I am so gonna enjoy this. Ah! Yeah! Nice dragon kick. Ah, sweet double phoenix punch. Hey, you know this one? Them, or are they beating us? Ask me again when we're winning, Mikey. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do we have to bat before they get the hint? Really? They just keep coming. Time to switch to plan B. Donatello? Almost there, Leo. This bus now leaving for anywhere but here. Come on, we're going. Whoa! Nice driving, Don, for a turtle with no license. Hey, you want pretty? Or you want affected? I gotta tell you, this has been one Mondo Pizarro day. First, all those metal robot things underground. And what's with all those ninjas? Ninjas in New York City? Besides us? It's just not right. Ooh. Talk about not right. Check this out. Show me the money, baby. Woohoo! This isn't Finder's Keepers, Mikey. <laughs> Take care of this money, will you guys? Did you see that? Some little green men in an armored car just threw a bunch of money at us. <laughs> Rookie.
Yes. Well, I'm glad to see you too, my sons. Master Splinter, so much has happened today. Yes, yes. There will be time to tell me all about it later, Leonardo. But first, I wish to take you all home. Home? We got no home. Those robots trashed our bed. Remember, Sensei? Do not worry. I think I have found a solution to our current housing problem. Follow me, my sons. Cowabunga! Oh, not funny, Raph! Oh, yes it is. No! Wicked slide! No offense, Master Splinter, but this place doesn't seem so great. Look with your heart, Michelangelo, and not your eyes. Um, okay. And walk this way. Ow! Whoa. I could really tune this space up. <sighs> this room here, mine. And where you're standing, also mine. You see, my sons, change is good. We couldn't agree more, Master Splinter. Good. So let's see you boys clean up for a change. This chamber is filthy. Oh. Sir? I, I, uh, my men. We, uh, we, we lost the armored car with the money. But we were attacked. By some sort of karate frog creatures or something. They took us by surprise. It, it wasn't my fault. Enough. I promise, sir. I won't fail you again. I know. You won't fail me again. Ever. No, sir. Please. <laughs> What's the matter, Mikey? I can't decide what to watch? I need more power, Captain. The turtle cave must be set for maximum entertainment potential. Aww. Turtle cave? <laughs> that is so lame. What would you call our new digs? The shelter? Uh, how about the sewer of solitude? Terrapin station? The school for gifted reptiles? The Hall of Ninjustice! <clears throat> we will call this place... Home. Hmm. Catchy. Now, what is keeping Leonardo and Raphael? They just went to get the last of our stuff from the old lair. And the way the new sewer slider is performing, they should be back any minute now. Our home, for 15 years. <sighs> and this is all that's left. When I find out who built those home-wrecking robo-roaches... <clears throat> Raph, come on. Let's not trash this place any more than it already is. Accelerator hasn't been calibrated yet, so take it nice and oh! Whoa! I'd call this a successful field test, wouldn't you, Leo? Even though it is inactive, that thing still makes me uneasy, Donatello. This is state-of-the-art robotics, Sensei. Brilliant work. I just gotta know what makes it tick. Hey, good news, Mikey. Your DVD collection survived. Awesome. 
let's throw in something light on story and heavy on gory, because the video monolith is ready to rock and roll. In a press conference today at Stocktronics Incorporated, New York's leading new technology firm. Boring. Wait, I want to see this. Founder and CEO Dr. Baxter Stockman was on hand to unveil his latest innovation. A wise man once said, build a better mousetrap and the world will beat a path to your door. I say, let the path beating begin. For I, Dr. Baxter Stockman, have designed the solution to the city's ever-growing rat problem. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the ultimate expression of rodent termination technology, the Stocktronic Mouser. I can't believe that the famous Baxter Stockman would try to pass off these killer robots as a good thing. <laughs> and what's up with those glasses? Dork City! Uh, I say we head over to Stocktronics and kick some serious shell. Absolutely not. Your last venture to the surface was a disaster. You can ill afford to be seen by more humans. My lab assistant, Miss April O'Neill, will release several rats into the simulation chamber. April, proceed, my dear. Now observe the sheer genius of my mouser in action. I sure hate to be a rat in this town. Huh. Oh. Sorry, Sensei. And the Mouser's search and retrieval functions are all ingeniously controlled by a remote mother computer. Oh, this is so great! My friends, my family will finally see I really do work with THE Baxter Stockman. You flatter me, Miss O'Neill. I like that. Hmm, oh, that's strange. I was running a routine diagnostic check. Half the Mouser prototypes aren't even transmitting. It's like they just vanished. <clears throat> I'm sure it's nothing, April. Probably just a computer glitch. I'll have a systems tech go over it in the morning. But what if the Mousers have been tampered with? We should go over all their transmission backups. That won't be necessary, April. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm expecting an important call from a very significant financial backer. Not lead with your shoulders, Donatello. Faster on your counterattack, Leonardo. Mind your footwork, Michelangelo. You are distracted, Raphael. You must learn to focus your attacks. I'd like to focus my attacks on that Stockman guy. Why can't we just go topside and show him a little mean and green? Because I forbid it. Uh -huh. We will resume your training in the morning. Huh. We will resume your training in the morning. I heard that. Busted! Yeah, I'd like to bust a few heads. Chill, bro. We don't need no stinking surface world. We got late movies, top 10 video countdown, BMX bird highlights, some really weird Korean language soap opera. Or you could give me a hand with these mouser parts. If I can get one working, we can trace it back to its source and find out what Stockman's really using them for. Uh, nah, I'm beat. I'm gonna wreck. Since when does Raf turn in so early? The Mousers will be ready when I decide they're ready. Our first field test was... Was a complete failure. I do not tolerate failure. Which is why you'd make a lousy scientist. The test was supposed to expose any possible design flaws. As a result, I've already upgraded the Mousers for greater durability. 
And I assure you, they will perform flawlessly for the next phase of the plan. They had better, Dr. Stockman. For your sake. Midnight stroll? Out of my way, Leo. Master Splinter said we stay put. Look, I'll go through you if I have to. I'd like to see you try, hothead. Careful what you wish for, Splinter Jr. Hey! Hey, guys! I got one working! Come on! He's faster than he looks! So, you just gonna let that mouser roam free? Master Splinter is so going to kill us. Well, you coming or what? If you insist. <coughs> Good night, April dear. Try not to work too late. You know I don't like to pay overtime. Good night, Dr. Stockman. <laughs> Now, let's find out what kind of plan you've been cooking up with those mousers, Dr. Stockman. Never seen that icon before. What is... Watch your step here, guys. Don't want to end up as turtle soup. Resourceful little critter. So what do we do now? Like Master Splinter says, a ninja is always prepared. Well, I thought that was the Boy Scouts. Let's leave the wall crawling to the dude in the blue and red tights. You read way too many comic books. <laughs> Just curious, Don. What's to stop old Turbo Jaws from munching up another 6.2 on the Richter scale? I shut down its jaw servos. It couldn't even chew through a stick of gum. You were saying? But I... I'm sure I shut it down. Oh, Don's finally lost his techno mojo. Sad, really. It must have some kind of security override routine. Come on! Oh, no. What is it, Don? If I'm not mistaken, that's a serious water main hanging right over our heads. So? So! Our little mouser friend just ate through the pipe support! <laughs> Shoot those spikes, Mike! Oh, keep your shell on, Rap! I got an idea! Mike! Wait! What are you? <laughs> Guys, you okay? Peachy. <sighs> Finally. how bad the city's rodent problem is. This is serious overkill. When 
I get my hands on that metal menace, I'm gonna grind him into little bot burgers. Easy, Raph. We still gotta keep him in one piece. What makes you think we'll even find the little blender butt? I think he left us a few clues. Rat problem, my eye. What are you really up to, Stockman? Now, now, Miss O'Neill. That would be telling. Suffice it to say, my army of mousers will make me a very rich and powerful man. But aren't you already a very rich and powerful man? Ah, Miss O'Neill, so brilliant, yet so naive. I will truly miss working with you. What? You mean I'm fired? In a manner of speaking. I'm afraid I can't let you live, Miss O'Neill. You've seen far too much already and... Well, let's just say I have trust issues. You cannot hide from my mousers. Good, guys. Neither is that. These chrome domes are a lot tougher than the last batch. Yeah, and there's a lot more of them, too. Great. Just great. are incredible! The servo mechanics, the circuitry, the articulation! Jeez, Donnie, why don't you just marry one already? <laughs> Guys, the only way to stop them is to slice their heads off. Well, ain't that great news. For the turtles with the blades... Drive them this way. <clears throat> we'll slice and dice. <laughs> Good job, guys. Just make sure we leave one intact. So much for tracing them back to the source. 
either, but you're just a little too slow. Actually, much too slow. You think you're better than me? Do you? No, you're just too cocky, Raph. Winner and steel champion, Michelangelo! No. No. You. You. Uh, 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 Raph! Wait! Wait! Uh, 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 Raphael, have you lost your mind? You okay, Mikey? What were you thinking, Raph? I... Leo... Mikey, I... Ah, my son, so angry. Rage is a monster that will destroy you from within. Raphael, a true warrior, finds balance in all things. Master Splinter, I... 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 I, I, I gotta get some air. of a vigilante wearing a hockey mask are being reported in connection with several brutal attacks on the notorious Purple Dragons gang, alleged to have underworld connections. Purple Dragon scum. <laughs> Somebody's gotta stop those Purple Dragons. Somebody's got to make them pay. And they will. They'll all pay, because Casey Jones is on the job. not to hurt you too much. <laughs> Man, these guys picked the wrong night to tick me off. Purple dragons! Come out and play! It's that wacko in the hockey mask. Let's get him. Looks like this is gonna be good. Now. No 
no mercy, scum. I'm putting you punks out of business permanently. That guy's out of control. Whoa! Hey! Easy there, cowboy. They're down. You stopped them. You did good. Now take it easy. I'm out Come of on, here. Let's get out of here. Oh man, they're getting away. Stay out of my business, freak. <laughs> you can run, purple dragons, but you can't hide from Casey Jones. Sorry about all this. Here's your purse, man. Keep away from me, you you lizard thing. Keep away. Unbelievable. This guy just won't quit. I told you to cool it, pal. Yeah, and I told you to stay out of my way. But since your ears don't seem to be working, I'm gonna have to get my point across a whole nother way. See, Don? We can have our very own battle shell. I've even got a name for it. I call it the battle shell. I got it all figured out. Turbo boosters, double action traction, cool secret thingies shooting out the back. We should be tricking out the armored car. By we, you mean me. And I don't have the time. There's too much to do around here. Besides, where would we keep the thing? We can find a place. Just think about overhauling the wheels. Please, 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 please. Did I mention that you're my favorite turtle? Shh. Leonardo is working on perfecting his ninjutsu skills. Perhaps something you two should consider. Leonardo, leaping split kick. <laughs> Try again, my son. It will come with practice. Donatello, Donatello. If you build it, we will ride in turtle style. Here, motor mouth. Make yourself useful. Aw, hang this up someplace nice. Listen, I'm trying to tell you something here, but you're really working on my last nerve. Is that right? <laughs> Look, I think you're trying to do the right thing, but you're going about it all wrong. You gotta get control of yourself. Look, freak boy, if you're protecting these purple dragon scum, then you're in my way, and you're going down too. Hockey season's over. Yeah? Well, baseball's in season. And so are you, you freaky freaking weirdo. Batter up! Fine! Play ball! <laughs> Let's dance! Remember, he who smelt it, dealt it! Hey, I found a bunch of these crystals while I was cleaning up the lair. They were all broken, though. Where's the power source for this room? I don't see any wires. Hey, are we moving? to me. You're angry. I can understand that, believe me. But what if you grab the wrong guy? What if you go too far? Get yourself in real trouble. I 
got my reasons for doing what I do. And they got nothing to do with you. Fine. All you want to do is fight? Let's fight! What? What am I doing? We're on the same side. We shouldn't be fighting. We both just need to get a hold of ourselves. Take it easy. Chill. You know, you're right. You've shown me the error of my ways. Not for... <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> Glowing chamber brings us up to street level? Hmm. This warehouse has been abandoned for many, many years. Great space, but it needs something. Hmm. Bathtub? No. Kitchenette? Uh uh. I know! A souped up battle shell will be perfect right here! No, no, right here is the perfect spot to keep souped up battle shell! No, no, here! I think he's trying to tell you something, Donnie. I know that big dope is around here somewhere. I got more where that came from, freak boy! You want a rematch? Check me out Friday night, Central Park! Adios, loser! Yo, Dragon Face, it's that guy, the one with the hockey mask. He's been fighting with some weirdo in a bug costume. But I know where he'll be on Friday night. I want that hockey mask wearing vigilante's head on a plate. Put everybody on alert. Everybody. This guy's been messing with our business for months. It's time we started messing with him. could have built this thing, but if we're going to use it, we're going to need safety precautions and extra security up in the warehouse. Piece of pie. Mmm, piece of pizza pie. Welcome home, Raph. Man, you look like you got the shell kicked out of you. Yeah, it's a long story, but first I, I, I wanted to apologize. Mikey, I'm sorry I got so out of control earlier. Guys, I'm really sorry. Hey, don't sweat it, bro. All right. Who are you, and what have you done with our brother, Raphael? Let's just say I had a chance to think about the way I've been acting. I'll fill you in over dinner. Dinner? Now you're talking my language. <laughs> what language is that, Mikey? Nitwit? Ha ha, listen to the funny mutant. I don't know, Raph. We should probably tell Master Splinter and have him stop us from going topside. We have to find that vigilante whack bag and stop him. For his own good. He's not a bad guy, just a little misguided. <clears throat> Busted! How many times have I told you not to sneak up to the surface? This month? 512, actually. It is dangerous for you to go about openly in the world above. You cannot simply walk amongst the humans. They will not accept who and what you are. It is as the great sage and warrior, Kenji Hashimura, once said, Why walk when you can ride? Come again? Take the truck. All right, we've got until Friday night to make this bad boy turtle ready. Let's get to work. Now 
Now this is a ride. You ain't seen nothing yet. Let's roll! I got him, Dragon Face. He's in the park. We're on our way. He ain't getting out of that park. Not on two feet, anyway. And on your left is Central Park. 843 acres of landscaped beauty in the center of the city. Wait! There he is! Glory, Don! Keep up with him! You go get him, Raph. I whipped up something special for you. It's in the back. Like it? I call it the Shell Cycle! Donatello, you are the turn. <laughs> Time for a little shell shock. Oh, I can't believe I just got my butt kicked by some giant frog. Turtle. Whatever. Look, I'm no fan of the purple dragons either. I'll help you take them down, but we gotta exercise just a little restraint. Save it. You don't know what you're talking about. Try me. Well, a long time ago, when I was a kid, some young punks were shaking my dad down for protection money. They were purple dragons. We didn't pay. They torched our store. You tell your old man, punk, next time pay up or else. <laughs> So don't tell me how to deal with purple dragons. Just be careful. Your anger could take you down, make you act just like them. My father once told me a true warrior finds balance in all things. Balance, huh? Well, you know, as much balance as a couple of hot-headed whackbags like us can manage. Me? You're the only whackbag around here, Doc. Hey, I'm not half as crazy as you. Sorry, but for a little green dude, you are totally nuts. Yeah, well, I'm not the one running around in a hockey mask. I gotta protect my good looks. I'm saving this face for Hollywood. Well, isn't this romantic? So, when you said I would go too far and get myself into trouble, you meant something like this? Something like... Friends of yours? Brothers, actually. I can see the family resemblance. I'm the pretty one. Guys, check it out. I got my split kick right. I missed it. Let me see it again. One more time. <laughs> Saw that one. I give you ten. Hey, Raph, only a six? Bro, it's all I got. I 
I know I'm gonna regret saying this, but I'm glad I met you, crazy man. Me too, Green Dome. And you know something? I'm starting to see what you're all about. Oh, you mean about balance? Self-control? Nah, I mean that you're a green mutant freak. <laughs> but I like you. He's your brother. No, no, he's your brother. Absolutely your brother.